You just happen to be There's... shitting on it while we <laughs> while we hit record. <laughs> well, you didn't know I was such a sweetheart. No, I didn't. That's the evil ginger. You're the fucking you're the nice one. Yeah, but the, Matt refuses to do mushrooms. Why? Oh, we're, he, back, he we're realizes, back here? He realizes, Are you serious? He realizes it'll take away the edge. He, think, he thinks it'll take away his oh, edge. He's one of those guys who thinks, like, and he'll turn, he'll start, my anger fuels me. Yeah, he'll get rich, and then he'll start doing jokes. I like that you, you switched. I like you, first of all, I like you switched That would rather language. be sexy and miserable than fat and happy. <laughs> <laughs> be fat and happy, dude. It's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it's perfect. Do you know how, how fucking comfortable it is when you just lie down and do nothing? Oh, Matt, you're like, no, I cannot. I need to be suffering all the time. You just stick your finger in your body and get some juice on it. <laughs> oh, baby. It's looking amazing. It's awesome. awesome like on your 11th hour of lying down. <laughs> on your 11th hour when I fucking hit your feet hitting the ground. It's perfect. So get fat, eat mushrooms. <laughs> what else? What else um, do I need those, to do? Those aren't, like, those aren't tied together, but those started. are two things yeah. that are that are just enjoyable. Though. Getting fat? Well, eating mushrooms for sure. You don't, have to, get, you don't have to get fat, but uh, if you're eating mushrooms... Dude, you, just... you eat mushrooms every fucking day. I don't, though. Oh, you're a microdose guy? Uh, I do microdose, yeah, but I don't microdose every day. So uh, I I'm do not... it randomly. But, but, I mean, you shit on people often. Like, like I... I try to spread love as much as I can. You sp- try to spread hate. And I think mushrooms would... Matt also spreads love, though. He does. I think he, he spreads does sometimes. But I think he spreads lo- I, I mean, I, 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 mean I can get angry, too. I can't. I, I have a, a fucking yeah. a dark side, for sure. But, like, I... Do you know, I don't shit on people. I don't feel the need to shit I on people. I don't... There's it's a there's difference... No, there's no, no, no there's a There's a difference between shitting on people and shitting on elements of a craft. All right. So I, if I want to talk shit about Machine Gun Kelly, I don't fucking know who Machine Gun Kelly is. And I personally, I couldn't care fuck all who Machine Gun Kelly is. He doesn't matter to me. But when I see him and when I hear his music, I recognize that it is shit. And now your counter argument that you bring up every time is, well, other people are entertained. And guess what? I don't give a fuck. Other people are retarded. If they think that Machine Gun Kelly is good, then they're yeah, idiots but that, but too. The, but that's why I take fucking I take offense to is I like I I went to Bonnaroo last year and Machine Gun Kelly played. And it was fucking great. It was I a thought, great show. I thought Machine it was Gun a great Kelly show. Was... But what you're doing is you're calling me a retard for enjoying the shit that I. Well, no, that, you're, that you're you not. Like. You're not retard. You're retard on mushrooms. No, enjoying but, it. So but you're, you're, no, you're but you're a piece of shit. Here's one he? mic, guys. <laughs> Jesus oh, did I, get, did I get it wrong too. What is it? Holy fuck. <laughs> you but can't, you, you but, can't do but that. You, can, but, can we edit that? Just, out? Because, just be, no, we can't because it's live. We can edit oh, that out on the other one. Shit. But um, no, two gingers, one mic. That's what you oh, said, two right? gingers, one mic. Yeah, sorry. That's I'm, the only I'm dyslexic. Rule. I'm dyslexic. That's, That's dyslexic. literally the only rule that I would oh, fucking. You guys are fags. <laughs> See, I would fucking <laughs> go ahead, like, but holy shit. We like my welcome, Matt Baxter. He's madder at me yeah. for talking bad about machine I'm not, I'm not gun mad Kelly. At you. I'm not mad at you. I'm just saying that you're you're unconscious to what you're doing. Uh, you're you're unconscious to what you're doing. You're you're what am shitting I doing? on you're shitting on other people's taste. If you don't like something, that's fine. But it doesn't mean that it's terrible just no. because you don't like you're, it. You're not you're, God. you're see no because you're you're ignoring. An entire sphere of what art but you is. Say, you and saying what art, makes is, art. art is subjective. Of in, course, in, in, it's in, subjective. In, in your reality, Machine Gun Kelly shit. That's the point of Machine Gun Kelly. They don't want this track against Eminem. The point I of it was half decent. Yeah. I thought he went after the biggest guy in the prison yard. He took a good shot. He, he's got a, his got his mug a little bloody, but then got the absolute shit kicked out of him afterwards. That's what happened. Dude, Eminem obliterated it. Oh yeah, that's yeah. the fucking point yeah. of art. That's the point of comedy. Is that you're supposed to have a take. All right. So yes, I'm fine for people to listen to machine. They can listen to Lizzo. They can all get fat. They can all eat fucking mushrooms. I don't give a shit. I really don't fucking care. But at the end of the day, I have my own take on it, and I'm allowed to have my own fucking. Yeah, you're take. allowed of a take, but you. But I'm allowed. I'm allowed to dispute your take. Absolutely. And, and it doesn't mean that I'm wrong. 
Who said you're wrong? You, you fucking retard. When, guys, guys, let me let When live. did I, when did I? Imagine if we all had the same POV. When did I say you're wrong? How boring life would be. Yeah. That's if my point. If you thought the exact same as bad, life would be so boring. That's Absolutely. my point. So you're trying to, you're trying to convince him of your POV and Matt's trying to do the same to you. I, like, I, you know, I know, I don't I, care. I'm I just think, I just think, him. I think it's important. I think it's but important I to call think, a spade a spade. Yeah, I agree with Darren though. I think carrying around negativity and resentment and criticism has no value to me personally. That's how I feel. But, I, then, there's, but then there's Michael I'm Jordan. I'm not saying there's guys like Michael hold Jordan on. who use hate as fuel and hold, use it to like destroy hold on, people. hold on. So those it's guys one thing to say negativity and hate, and it's another thing to say criticism. Yeah, that's fine. These aren't all. Yeah, these they, aren't all. I criticize, say, I criticize people all the time. That's my point. Yeah. I'm only talking about one thing. Let's yeah. talk about one thing here. It's about fucking Just criticism. criticism specifically. Okay. Criticism is an important thing. That's how we build discourse. That's how we build upon ideas. That's how we build upon the arts. Okay? Comedy, music, I don't give a fuck what it is. These things evolve through criticism. Yes, they can be stifled through criticism. Yes, if you just listen to critics all the time, you listen to what they're saying. ACDC, when they released their first album, Rolling Stone gave it a zero. They literally just said this is absolute shit and nobody should listen to it. If everybody listens to Rolling Stone's critics, then they're fucked. But if you are able to take some critics word and disregard others and maybe see the value that comes from this critic and maybe see others and say, I don't really agree with that. That's how you build upon some uh, certain things. That's how you build a perspective. That's how you build in the arts. That's how things get better. That's how things evolve. So no, I don't agree with you that nobody should have the right to criticize yeah, but you didn't, you didn't, anything. But you weren't criticizing Bobby Kelly there at, while you were at the sink. You were saying, you're talking about Rolexes now. You're not even, Lou, you're a piece of shit. Like, that's not criticism. Like, that's not criticism. I'm telling you that you're you're skewing along more along the lines of hate and negativity than cri and hiding behind no, the it's, fact it's that it's criticism. criticism. Well, I love you, Bobby Kelly. See you, see you in a couple of weeks. I fucking love Bobby Kelly. So, I think he's fucking hilarious. I, so you know, right now, right now you're you're taking one chunk of what I said. And you're misrepresenting. But, it, but you, it wasn't just no. I'm not. I'm not. I because what I'm what I'm actually what I'm actually saying is he's on podcast speaking predominantly about smoking cigars and Rolexes. I don't. He's I don't not relatable. He's I think you saw that. You saw one clip of him doing that. Like I, I the last podcast I watched with him, the, the bit I took away from it was he. He likes going hunting. He likes going like camping. He started doing that shit, and he loves like being outdoors. On, and, on Rogan, yeah, that, that was that's the last that, thing that, 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 last thing that I remember. That but you stick on the fucking the negative parts. Like just get, just let the negative parts pass. Focus on the positive parts. That's all. That's all I'm saying. You're with me in this. Like we're we're together in in. This rise to the top, and I just feel like it, when it's when you're negative and putting other people down, it does not help you. And if it doesn't help you, it doesn't help me because we're in this together, and we're we're in this together no matter what. And I just feel like positivity is what's going to bring us further than negativity. And that's all I want to say. Oh, I don't like care a, about like a like, William Wallace speech. I, 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 if, I don't I, like, I don't care. Machine Gun Kelly. I I, I mean I was on acid, so. Obviously, I was going to enjoy myself, but I mean, he was playing Obviously. guitar. He was he was jumping like it was it was a good show. So like it was it a takes good acid show. to think Machine Gun Kelly's good, but I take acid. That's, so it doesn't matter. See, and that's another fucking. That's what I was on acid saying. looking at gravel. And it was entertaining. So that doesn't say much. Right? Yeah, but but <laughs> that doesn't take away from acid plus Machine Gun Kelly equals fun. Yeah, yeah, sure. so and really I would acid. rather be on acid looking at gravel than fucking watching this this fucking hack. <laughs> He gets hot babes. I respect that. Yeah. Megan Fox? Yeah. That's pretty sick. I would rather watch that than watching Gravel or him performing on stage. I'd rather watch him fucking Megan Fox. Yeah, Absolutely. Anybody, yeah. 100%. But he, you have to listen to his music in the background. Um, but I'm on acid. Do you ever do that? Do you ever you fuck, can be if you, you want. Do you ever fuck to your own music? Fuck to my own music? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck to my own open mic sets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop changing the subject, you fucking... <laughs> I'm trying to make your podcast good. No one cares what you do babbling. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That was, that was probably one of the more interesting moments on our podcast, was how heated we just... We've never been Is that this heated. your guys' dynamic? You get the... No, we've it's never... We have you've had, never we listened... Had an we've, never, we've never actually been, we, been we used heated. We used, to be, we used to yell at each other. Yeah, but not really. No, yeah, we... It, wait, well, right now, we it's actually real, because we actually disagree. 
but also you're misrepresenting me. It's not about because it, you're because it's that's such a listen, psycho. I love them. You're you're just <laughs> absolute psycho. You, that's true, but you're just you're just putting it all out there as positivity versus negativity, and that's not what it is. That's not yeah, what it is. That's, that, that's, that's, it, what, that's, that's disingenuous. What seems, that's what it seems like to me. I mean, it's it's up to you to fucking to show me that you that you mean different. Right. That's what do you're you, seeing. Do you resent the people you criticize? Like, do you have bad feelings towards them? Sometimes. Okay, so that's ne- that's negative. That can be negative. An unbiased Sometimes. an unbiased criticism is not negative. But if you're like, fuck that do guy. You, do you ever sucks. do you ever resent somebody? I do. Or are you free of resentment because you've taken enough mushrooms? Okay, so I try not to be. But but see, like I resent you speaking about like me taking mushrooms like that when you don't actually understand what I get from mushrooms. You don't you don't understand it. You've t- you took mushrooms when you were a kid. Are you free? Getting high drinking uh, like as a fucking child. What as are you, a child. You, okay. you don't even, without even knowing any of the knowledge that you have now. Mushrooms unlocks another part of your brain, and obviously, my comedy has gotten better. Everything has gotten better since I started taking well, mushrooms. You know, you know and, and that objectively, that's not disputable. But you said, "Yeah, but you take mushrooms, so obviously, you got to take what you say with a pinch of salt." Like, obviously, I resent that. You know, what's interesting though. We wanted to talk about AA a little bit. Yeah. So one of the main um, this is this is Darren's um, version of AA do mushrooms. <laughs> This is his uh, <laughs> fucking uh, uh, fucking where where inter- oh, so I intervention. I don't, I don't I don't think this has any. Um... Darren, we're worried about you. I think you're a mushroom addict. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Mushrooms I'm... also makes me a fucking beast of a fighter. So uh, I'll I'll fight anyone who tries to take my mushrooms. Oh wow! How do you fight? That's them like some That's a so Viking shit. Peaceful. Dude. Yeah, the Vikings do mushrooms and fucking. No, it's, but it's not peaceful. It's in control. But if if I need to fucking if I need to unleash the beast that's inside me, it'll be unleashed. Dude, I I did mushrooms in Chinatown with Dylan Scott, and um, <laughs> um, I saw a goddess, a psychic goddess, and she came to me in the form of um, infinite swords of light going off in every direction, mm. and we had a whole telepathic relationship with each other, and we actually fucked. And I was in my room, and I was like having telepathic sex with this goddess, and I almost came without touching my dick. It was fucking mental. <laughs> it was mental, and uh, yeah. And she represented like abundance. Like we live in a, an abundant universe. There's enough love and creativity. It never ends for everybody. That's pretty cool. That was cool. Yeah. That's very cool. So this wasn't an actual woman. No, this was a psychic goddess who lives in the spiritual realm. That connected wow. with her mushrooms. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And Dylan, Dylan kind of was my like Sherpa. Like somehow his presence kind of got me there. Cause he's mm. like, he's kind of like a trained spiritual adventurer. Because my mushroom trips before that were always very surface level. Just like go to a cottage, laugh with your buddies, mm. go swimming. I never had like the fucking mm. Jesus moment. Yeah. And this, and I had my one Jesus moment. Yeah. And it was fucking wild. Yeah, and that's and it's it changes. But now, now it changes. what's interesting to me though is getting those spiritual truths and implementing them into my life without drugs and alcohol, mm. and doing it in a sober way. Because I have psychedelic experiences in sobriety by just like meditating and drinking green juice. I can get to similar. Mm. I can get to similar psychedelic states. Yeah. Um, but I find the truths I get are more like tangible and more implementable because I'm not like intoxicated. Mm. So I can actually put them into my daily life and bring them into my relationships in like a real way. Not shitting drugs, shitting on drugs, whatever. I had great drug experiences. But now what's interesting to me is getting those experiences without the drugs. Yeah. yeah. Well, it feels like yeah. what? You're more in control or what? It's more long lasting. It's like more, it's more of a permanent change and like, oh, that was a cool thing. We're all brothers and sisters. I'm full of love. Right. And the next day you're like back to your it's fleeting, fucking, back to your human self. Yeah, it's fleeting. Mm-hmm. Or this is more like it's real. It's like becoming who I am as opposed to just one night or whatever. Yeah. Of this, of this enlightenment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's just for me. Yeah. No, I know. I, I understand that. And yeah. I obviously, I obviously like Matt does this on a daily basis. He gets, he gets to there. He's like going doing Vipassana next week. And I, I respect the shit out of that. What's, what's that yoga? No, it's a 10 day meditation course. You're just silent meditating oh, cool. 10 cool. hours a day. You don't talk to anybody, right? Like, yeah, just... yeah. Nothing. You know, you don't yeah. have anything else to do. You just meditate yeah, for cool. all day. I'm doing a dopamine fast right now. Um, so like no movies, no TV, no YouTube, nothing like that. So I can just meditate, read, write, socialize and like go for walks. So it's kind of uh, the same idea, but in society, as in opposed, society, as, as opposed yeah. to like going away. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So, Cause I find I have an addiction to like screens and stuff. Oh yeah. That is like corrosive to my work ethic. I want to be like a disciplined writer and sit there for like three hours. Can you work something real? Can you work out with this? You can work out. Yeah. Cause it, it's some people, weird... do, some people do take it to a point where you can't work out. Right. You can't even eat pleasurable food. Right. Um, you can't even read actually so, for, for 24 yeah. hours. I haven't, I'm not doing that. There's like there three different levels. 
It's only 24 hours, they're saying? Um, that's for like a reset. I've been doing it for longer. I've been doing it for most of the year so far. Wow. Yeah. Holy uh, shit. How yeah. long do you intend to keep that up for? I kind of want it to be sort of a lifestyle change. Like movies and TV has been a real addiction for me. It's like eating up like years of my fucking life. Just binging stuff and getting hypnotized by it. I want it to be more of a social thing. Like I, I, I made plans like, hey, guys, let's go see the new fucking stupid Ant-Man movie together and get like 10 of us to go. And then it's like more of a thing as opposed to me just like vegging out and being hypnotized in my fucking room. I see. You know what I mean? Yeah, the, the, the intention behind it. The intention behind it, yeah. Yeah. Because I would watch, I've been to watch these shows and be like, oh, 10 hours of my life are gone. I can't even tell you a single name of the character that's in the fucking show. Like, I don't remember. Well, that's what, like, yeah. that's, <laughs> it's like, I don't want to live my life that way. No. I want to create my own shit. I want to create my own great art. Yeah. Instead yeah. of just being a fucking mindless consumer, consumer. all the time. That's yeah. really, that's really good. I think these things are fucking super addictive. They really are. Oh, fucking a hundred percent. It's a problem, dude. I think it's. I think it can actually ruin people's art a little bit because if you don't have work ethic to put real fucking you know sweat and tears into something, it's not going to be good. But how can you do that if you have no attention span? You can't. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you well, need it's, to. You it's need a fucking to train, problem. You need to train the attention span. You need to train the attention span. On one level, first of all, that's one reason why I am pro criticism and i i get off on writing movie reviews or music reviews are you that, like a skeptic if, like an academic if, if something is yes and if something is shit i need to be able to put into words i need to be able to articulate what is shit about this yeah, why yeah. is this shit what makes yeah. something good what makes something shit yeah. what because otherwise yeah you you're just a fucking passive consumer of the thing it makes you happy it makes you sad whatever the fuck it is yeah, yeah. you're not able to actually understand or appreciate it at, at another level of okay what's what the fuck is going on especially it being from a point where you're a uh, creator of whatever art it is there's it's important i think to see the mechanics of what makes what makes something good what makes a da vinci versus some fucking schmuck at, at ocad who just puts on fucking whatever bullshit onto a canvas and calls it calls it woke art. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Progressive. Whatever. Which is basically what I see when I watch films now anyway. But like it's like there's not there's just okay, here's an agenda. We're gonna make a movie around it without any fucking like mm. artistic merit or something to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, rap sometimes it happens in rap where a guy will put the, the political message first. Right. And then the song sucks. The song being dope needs to be what's put first. Yeah. And then if there's a message after that, cool. I, I, would, I would rather hear about, I would rather, I would rather hear a dope song about money and bitches than a wax song about like your fucking heady political <laughs> message. You know what I mean? But if you can do both, like run the jewels, they do both. They'll make a dope song and then they'll put it in their little political stuff too. You yeah. know what I mean? Hmm. Or like comedy, it needs to be funny first. And then if there's a message after that, cool. But the message yeah. can't come first. It just gotta be funny. Yeah, Louis great at that. Like something's fucking hilarious, but he got like a little bit of a like social commentary or whatever. Do you find that he's got some social? A little bit. Well, I, little I think bit. it's just pointing out. It's like pointing out to people that they're that what they do is dumb. Mm -hmm. It's it's less of a he doesn't care if it changes your mind. Or <laughs> yeah. not. It, yeah. He's yeah. just pointing out what he sees, yeah. and it's kind of you respect it because it's like, yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, he has, like, a, he has that bit about being on the plane and the Wi-Fi not working and being like, yeah, the fuck that's out. great. Yeah. That's kept, it's, he's kind of saying to you to be grateful. Be grateful. With, like, we live in a fucking yeah. incredible world. Yeah. You know, but if you but you being grateful only helps you. It's also you. funny as fuck. And, and it only helps you. Like, if, I, think it helps, I think it spills over the people around you, your family and friends and stuff. Yeah. I think yeah. so, yeah. It, pro it probably, do, to be fair, yeah. To be fair, that's true. But they, but if your family and friends are happier than you, your general community, everyone, that's yeah. everybody that's around you. Your life is going to get so much fucking more fruitful or whatever. Mm. But, um, but yeah, if you don't, your friends and family are going to still be like, they're not going to like you as much. Your life is going to be shit. You're going to be wondering why. And it's because you're negative. Cunt. Yeah. <clears throat> That's one area where I agree with you the most. <laughs> As if that wasn't, I'm kidding. No fun. I, 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 I can, I, I, no I, I, I can, I can fucking, I can put that aside. I don't, because I'm not a negative, like whatever. I'm a negative cunt. That but I, I don't, you I don't. You have an anger in you for sure, but we've had lovely, positive conversations. I, I don't, because I don't actually give a shit about any of it. Yeah. But I have nothing else to do, so being yeah. angry is is actually fun. Yeah. yeah. It's actually very. Imagine fun. It didn't work out four hours a day. 
the like, level of anger you have. Well, we've been, we've been doing this behind bars. But <laughs> <laughs> the lawyer that's in the make is it, like, is it, it okay if we, if we say this? That's gonna make it, it, he's going to make it the show business. He's going to be the Grammys or something. He's going to snap Machine Gun Kelly's neck. <laughs> <laughs> we, we just, we just throws his fucking career away. We just we, we can be with our laptop and our phones. Throw my and, career and, away. That would be the pinnacle. That would be the <laughs> ultimate. That's why you're doing this. Yes, to someday kill Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> We get into the padded room. Would we just ask. Her? She's, I would, she's pretty awesome. Dude, this whole place would just be Hollywood heads on a stake. <laughs> and yeah, and I'd, no, I'd be fucking them first and I'd be fucking them after. You best believe it. I'd, yeah. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I thought Jennifer Lopez was a pedophile. I watched I watched the QAnon documentary. I thought she was using a Dorito Chrome to stay young forever. <laughs> so I snapped her fucking neck. <laughs> I wonder if that shit's admissible in court. It's like, I'm sorry, I watched too many documentaries. I just didn't it know what to believe. It's kind of like the insanity plea, I guess, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I've been mean, joking this on stage a bit, but QAnon did trick me for like two days. How? I was smoking a lot of weed during the lockdown. Dimitri sent me a bunch of videos. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I literally, I'm literally doing push-ups being like, I gotta go fight Hillary Clinton. Like this, I'm gonna be the guy to put an end to this. <laughs> And then I realized, okay, I'm fucking retarded. Fun, funny enough, I went through a similar... <laughs> Darren still believes it. He's still, he's still holding on. I, I just feel like th the only way I can stop it. I believe I like, I like believe there's so much evil shit going sure, on. Sure, there is. Like, there is. But, That's true. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not actually things. the one to stop it. And if I do try to stop it, what am I going to do? Go on a tirade and kill like 13 no, people? Not. And it's not actually going to help just anything. Destroy your life. And then I go to jail... And then nothing gets helped, and then it, it ha so I just might as well keep fucking trying to be funny and just whatever. Yeah, just enjoy your life. Do what I can. The fix my life. Win, yeah. you know, have fun. Yeah. So if I fix my life, then it spreads out. That's yeah. the sad thing about people in these circles because I I got also hooked through Dimitri onto like conspiracy videos for a time. It was during COVID, and I was scared and fucking all that, and. Do you know the people sorry, in these communities are the black pill community. Like these people are they're, fucked. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Do you know one of these people is happy? And, like, no, they're no, they're all miserable. They're fucking nuts. Yeah, like got, they're over the top. Dude, nuts. you need to watch that documentary. This place rules. You need to watch it. Yeah, it's all about this shit, bro. It's fascinating. Hmm. It's fascinating. Because of course, like you said, there's truth. There's an element of truth in, well, in Epstein all did of this. Exist. There was a pedophile. Right. There was an island. Right. Um, you can't de you can't just flat out deny that. But shit. dude, every cult leader ever uses a bit of truth to manipulate people. Right. And all those spiritual guys listen to what they're saying. There's truth in what they're saying, but they're using it to to fucking brainwash you. Right. I think there's a right wing cult. I also think there's a left wing cult. There's like a woke cult. Yeah. Then there's like a MAGA cult. And there's and Machine Gun Kelly cult. Machine it's Gun Kelly cult. People I don't, just I don't taking like... acid and thinking he's good. <laughs> it's it's possible that uh, they start off with good intentions. Yes. And, and but then they get power. From and there's it. also I think there's also good things from and their power corrupts. I believe yeah. that about Scientology because I, I remember reading it when I was in high school. I started reading uh, Dianetics, the mm. book, and I was like, "This is fucking legit. This is Dianetics? fucking dope." What's that? Oh, Scientology. That, well, that that's Bible? like the psychology yeah. kind of because it goes forever, but like it starts with Dianetics, and it's like actually in a lot of ways, like psychologically sound, like it's a lot of techniques that you would learn about in fucking any other religion or psych psychological practice. Like it fills off. It, it's like basically teaching you like, um, like uh, stoicism, like how to just deal with thoughts and deal with emotions in a productive way. And then it turns into like Xenu. Like, so fucking quickly. It's like, yeah, now you're fucked. We got you. And it makes me think, yeah, like, somewhere, somebody had a good idea, and he's like, hmm, I guess I could, like, help people with this, or I could just, like... Use it to build a sex hair. But he is helping people. Guys <laughs> I mean, do that, right? He is helping people a bit. Like, they're all they're all very successful. Like, everyone is... <laughs> everyone, every, all Scientologists are very successful. Is that not, is that not just true to say? <laughs> Are they successful first, though? Like, it's not like Tom Cruise found Scientology and became successful. Um, he was successful, then got into Scientology. I don't know. Like, what's her, the girl from King of Queens? She was in it for like since she was young. Well, I think I think human kid. beings need a structure, right? So when they have a structure, their lives improve. <laughs> like, do you guys remember the Nexium sex cult? 
that mm-hmm. Allison Mack was in from Smallville. Do you, do you remember this? So this guy, this guy, fucking uh, Keith Raniere. He started, Nexium? It's called Nexium. Keith Raniere started a company. It's a self-development company. And a self-development company is like a bunch of different techniques and stuff like that. But these techniques have been around forever. There are actually a lot of spiritual principles that are in AA, actually. And he uses these, he uses these to improve people's lives. And he, and he does it. And, they, and he does improve people's lives. But then on the side, he's also starting fucking sex slaves that are like branding their, his initials into their fucking stomachs and stuff like that. Um, so he's using like all these good tools like meditation and trauma healing and all this stuff to fix people's lives. And it works. Then these people fall in love with him. They turn him into a cult leader. They think he's God. And then they fucking, you know, are, are his sex slaves are finding other sex slaves for him. He had a pyramid scheme of sex slaves, this guy. But his his teachings actually worked for a long time, for mm. decades with people. Yeah. People had Tourette's and he cured their he cured their Tourette's with his teachings. And it actually fucking worked. But he was also <laughs> using it for like, you know, just to just to get off. But the absolute power corrupts absolutely. If you just yeah. if you start getting power, you just tar- you will you need to be very, very, very conscious. I think he I think he had these conscious. urges and got powerful so he could play them out. That's what I personally think. With just five yeah, anal you treatments. Reckon he started off, he I, yeah. wanted to build this. He was a sociopath. He wanted a fucking sex slave harem. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Yeah. How would he know it would work? He's, he's kind of a genius. Yeah. He's a bit of a genius in his own way, in his evil kind of way. But you reckon it couldn't have been the other way around? I want to help them. I don't think so with him. No. I don't think so. Just, I, just from well, what yeah, I, just, I, just, I, just from, I watched, from what I watched, I think he was like that early on. Yeah. Yeah. It goes either yeah. way. It goes either way. I mean, way, I just yeah. watched the first episode of the Bernie Madoff documentary there. Yeah, I heard it was good. But, yeah, it's pretty good. Like, but he, it's hard to know as well. Like, it, did he rise up to power just so he could fuck the system and fuck everybody? Or, or did, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. did he get up there and realize, okay, uh, I can I, do this. I can do this. I don't know. It's, it's hard to know. But, um, yeah, it's hard to know. But that's still happening now. Like, it's just Bernie Madoff is the one that's caught and dead. So we talk about him. But, mm. They'll talk. They'll he talk died about recently, eh? Um, I'm not 100% mm-hmm. sure. I didn't mention that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, what, what were you saying before that? You get cured of Tourette's just by, like, taking it in the ass enough times from this guy, and he cures your Tourette's. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Basically. Like, what's his method? It's like... I don't fully, and I, I don't fully understand his method. Like, every, time, like, every time you stutter, he slaps you with his cock. Basically, <laughs> first he cures you with Tourette, but then he starts fucking you. Like, is that, are people just like, oh my God, I'm so grateful that I don't stutter anymore. Let me suck your cock. Like if I, if I could cure girls of their, of their issues, are they just going to, is that the key? Is that the, no, it's the power. It's the power, right? Just having power. Yeah. But if you have power, you can cure them of their issues. <laughs> Like if, like if you have a lot of money, it's like, do they want it for the money? Like, I mean, if you don't spend the money on them, they're still, they're not going to love you. You know, it's like, yeah, he has a lot of money, but he's a tight cunt, but he has a lot of money and he buys me shit. So they're, he's fixing their issues. Would you hmm. eat Oprah's pussy? What, for what? For once or is that, is that the end? It would just once for a load of money or like, that's the only pussy I can eat and now I'm rich. Because yeah, no, obviously not the second one. But would I? No, eat I've I've eaten I've eaten terrible pussy. Like I've eat, I've eaten out pigs. <laughs> I've eaten out absolute pigs and uh, for for free. So if I'm getting some, if I'm getting some money back, I mean I, I wouldn't do it anymore. I I have I have more respect for myself now that I've stopped drinking as much and that. So I hold out for actually nice pussy that I would like to still see again in the morning. Mm. But uh, would I eat Oprah's out for? A million or something? Yeah. Sure. Mm. Can we pull her up? I, I, don't, I don't remember what she looks like. Mm-hmm. Oprah? Yeah. yeah. You have to get that. Yeah, you yeah, it's got to be now, too. It's got to be, it's gotta be yeah, very I mean, I haven't recent. seen her in a while. Let's, uh, let's see. I think maybe she's looking good. I think she like, pulled it together a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Was she going bad for a while there? I think she was fat, and then she she got skinny, apparently, and then all her fat friends stopped being friends with her. Yeah, the blood of children will do that for you. Like, yeah. We'll pull it together. Oh, she did not pull shit together, dude. Look what, at what about that one right there in the blue it's dress? Fuck, yeah, blue blue whale dress. Holy fuck. Yeah. She ever big. I get what Darren yeah. I get what Darren's saying. I have fucked girls way uglier than Look at that. Yeah, look at the girl. look at the fucking I have fucked guys way uglier. <laughs> 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 
fucking her hair's a rat's nest. Yeah, it's always it's always been a question of like, oh, would you would you fuck that girl? It's sort of it's like, I mean, if I at two a.m. I, I have already, so it's a lie for me to say. I would no, just sculpt I Oprah's. I would just sculpt Oprah's belly fat into a dick. <laughs> just, <laughs> just suck, suck it. it. <laughs> and you're just looking up. Do I still get the million for this? <laughs> you almost there? <laughs> oh, are those people? Are those people watching this? Is that people? Yeah. Is that, I see Aaron Cunningham's name on there. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. It was right. Yeah, but people jump in and out. Um, <clears throat> I think somebody's writing something. But yeah, but um, yeah, you're fucking. You're five months clean now. Uh, seven, seven months clean, seven five months, months off the cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. And but there's none of those things that you because now you you seem like you're doing fucking uh, salad. Uh, life like, is better than it's ever been, bro. Yeah, life is so good. Right but now. is is there any of those I'm things? Really, that, really happy and grateful. When you see somebody else doing any of those things, or do you do you so, really? You said you you were disgusted by cigarettes, which is yeah. great because I've spoke to a lot of people. Even Tim Dillon just mentioned it on the Rogan podcast. He said. He's been. He said he's given up everything, but he's off, he's been off cigarettes now for two months. But he said cigarettes is the only one. It's just like I always want to go back. To I sh- cigarettes were such a struggle for such a long time. Mm. I was a guy who buy a pack, smoke four back to back, feel gross, throw the pack out, walk down the street, be like, oh fuck, I want that pack. Go back, rummage through the fucking garbage, get mm. it. I've thrown cigarette packs off the balcony, uh, went and retrieved them. I've given them away to homeless guys. Um, I would chain smoke. Went back and killed the kill the Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've chain smoke. I used went to back, ch- suck him off to get them back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to chain smoke till I puked, bro. Yeah, and I would chain smoke back to back, could not stop. Um, yeah, but now this has been the longest stretch I've ever had. Yeah, and they disgust me. But and nothing, the other drugs or alcohol or any of that, you don't. Well, I, I work. I work a program, right? I do twelve steps. Yeah. What the twelve steps do? I'll just say it simply: the twelve steps connect you to God. Um, you help other people connect to God, and that process keeps you clean and helps you transcend your addictions. So, mm. so it's not like I'm at a comedy show, like white knuckling, like oh, I want that beer so bad. Yeah, it's like it's like somebody with a peanut butter allergy being like, oh, there's peanut butter there. Uh, like you don't think about it, you're not gonna fucking eat that. Yeah, you know, it's gonna kill yeah. you. So it's not like a struggle. I, I, I like let them go. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, honestly. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's that's pretty deadly. Because it was a few times you tried a few times to I get think, sober. I, I remember we had three times. It was a whole fucking yeah. ordeal for a long time. Yeah. Would you suck Oprah's dick to get sober? Um, is it permanent? Permanent sobriety. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. With you. I would. I'd hook up with Oprah for, for nothing. For nothing. Yeah. Just for fun. Just for tickets to our show. It's fantastic. You ever seen it? <laughs> <laughs> front row seats the I've had, no I've actually never I've watched I've never seen it either they come to you with the mic it's like so we got a real special member in the audience how did you get your tickets I, I fucked make up. some noise y'all this next guest <laughs> suck my pussy in the green room that bastard everybody hey guys <laughs> Matt you want to come up here I'll suck your pussy and your pussy and your pussy <laughs> Well, that's gonna come up and do five minutes for us, and then you just don't get down. They yeah, have the yeah. securities coming up. You, you're up there for twenty minutes fighting everybody out, yeah. doing the worst shit, like saying the N word the whole time. Well, I sucked Oprah's pussy. I sucked yeah. Oprah's pussy for the N word pass. Permanent oh, permanent N word pass. That's probably worth it. Fair for trade for you. I gotta stop saying slurs so much. I love it. No one's gonna. No, <laughs> it makes me happy. <laughs> it's my only vice I got left. I quit everything except for slurs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. You guys, no one, no one's gonna believe me, but actually, I have a mental illness called Pure O. It's called Pure O. Yeah, so it's like OCD, but I don't do patterns and stuff. It's all mental. So what it is, you'll go into a situation and be like, "What's the worst thing I could possibly do right now?" Like, for instance, like push someone off onto the train tracks or whatever. Mm. Those are called intrusive thoughts. You ever had those? I, I, I actually always have them. I, I don't know. They're I didn't called intrusive know thoughts. They're thing. called intrusive thoughts. Yeah. So I get intrusive thoughts all the time. So I'll be like, I'll be in a situation where it's like, oh. Like, what's the worst thing I'd say right now? Like a comedy bar, for instance. And I'll be in my head, like, being like, don't say the N word. Don't say the N word. Oh, yeah. Don't say the N word. And then it, it's like relieving for me just to say it because it's like, fucking who cares? Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's, it's called pure O. It's called pure O. Like it's Tourette's, but it's a weird control. mental twist. Yeah. Or you'll think about like fucking your family members. Uh, you'll, you'll think about the worst possible thing you can do. That's bad. How, how, did, <laughs> how, did, you, how did you find out you had it? <laughs> do you want to fuck your family members? No, I think about it. How long did how did you find out, how did you find out you? Because I was ha- I was having it really bad. I was doing stimulants like caffeine and cocaine and stuff. So they, that, that makes them really bad. That's actually yeah. why I quit caffeine because it helps 
it helps my thoughts be better. Yeah. Um, so I did some research because I was freaking out thinking like, am I an evil person? Why am I thinking all this evil, depraved shit all the time? And I did some research and found a documentary about it. And it actually often affects people who are very kind. Imagine, I, you're, I, you're, I over, you're overly concerned with hurting people yeah. and then you'll loop and obsess about hurting people. And I get that all the time. Yeah, like I, I feel I always, I'd be having a conversation and in my mind I'm, I'm just, I'm beating the fuck out of them. But it's not yes. Like, yes. Like, like there when we were arguing, I know I like not for a second did I have it there. Cause that would be semi-logical. It's like if, if, I know what you mean, you know, I know what you mean. But if you mean. It, it's, it's like, like if you're talking to like an old lady, if an old lady came up to me and she was like asking me directions in my head, I'm just not there. Like, it, sometimes, you know, sometimes, and it's just like, and yeah, fucking people I shouldn't or saying the worst things ever, just mm-hmm. grabbing somebody. I just do it in my head for a second, and then I've never, you know, I never follow through. Yeah, it's, called, it's, called, it's called Pure Intrusive Thoughts. Right? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a whole thing. It's, uh, it's cool. Yeah. Cool. So, no. Yeah. So, technically, you're both like one degree of separation away from Close. like. No, like pedophiles and like fucking serial killers. Well, the difference is those people do it, right, and want to do it. I get no pleasure from these thoughts. I find them repulsive. So does Darren, right? Mm. Where the pedophile and serial killer would have those thoughts, like, yes, this feels good. I want to do it. I'm like, ew, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? But that's what's fucked up. Because if you listen to, like, like if you listen to, like, Dahmer tapes, like, he, he's, like, he knows that it's fucked up. He knows that it's wrong. He doesn't he doesn't want to do it. He, but he, he's at like the next level where he has to do it. He fucking has to. He's like an addict. He's addicted to killing black to, effects. <laughs> at least you won't. You, you, you kept that one of them. He's going to kill it. He's going to kill it. He's going to kill it. Killing black fags anonymous. Please, God, help me. Help me rise above killing black fags. I beg you. It's ruining my life. Dude, um. He goes on methadone. He kills like white fags. <laughs> Hey, he's doing pretty good. He only kills white fags. So that's pretty good. It's like when you switch to vaping. That's the vaping of <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> Come on, slurs are fun, boys. Let's go. Absolutely. Absolutely. It makes me happy. I like breaking social norms. It makes me feel like a man. Somebody said, I, I, I don't know who it was. Maybe it was, was it Stephen Pressfield or somebody that writes a lot, but they said that like before they sit down to write, they... Um, they just say like the worst things yes. ever or write it down. Yeah. They write down the worst things ever. Say the N or even saying the N word out loud, yep. saying whatever, yep. all the worst things you can ever say and just get it out there. So that it was actually, um, it was uh, Palmer, I think that when he was on Rogan, he said, he just says the worst things ever. So he just gets it all out there. So nothing's off the table and then sits down and starts to write. Yeah. So then like anything can be anything. Goes. When I was doing like pickup artist shit a lot, like, and I was like sober learning how to socialize again, we'd go mm. to like, clubs and stuff. And before going to the clubs, I would do that. I would say all the slurs like loud in my hmm. room mm. or just like fuck around and be like totally wacky and like dance and shit yeah. just to break out of those inhibitions because the booze isn't going to do it for me. So I got to do it myself through like these techniques. Like, mm. yeah, yeah, it actually helps. That makes but sense. it's funny because you yeah. still say the slurs in yeah, yeah. public. So like yeah. what are you saying behind closed doors? You know? <laughs> <True>. <laughs> He's just like, oh, puppy dogs love and rainbows. <laughs> Fucking comes out here. He's like, "Yep, to kill them all." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck. That's. And I also up. feel like with the woke mob, you can never be woke enough. So it's like, no matter. I'm an offensive. That's true. I'm an offensive person. Those people. The thing. So I might as I might as well just double down on who the fuck I am and be authentic. Yeah. And be like, okay, I'm gonna go the other way then. But then when you don't just, say it, you actually get respect from those lunatics. Like, no, no, but no matter what I do, there's people. No, but in in their mind, they do. They they have like a smidgen more. When you don't say it, they're like. Ah, oh, good for him for not saying it. They genuinely do feel that, and I think they would. Yeah, I put them when someone like the the biggest pussy ever just goes a little bit close to the line. They're like, "Ooh, that was edgy for him." I think they should respect you for not uh, placating to it. I think woke girls on like a weird like primal level, when a guy sticks to his convictions yeah. and just beats a fucking dude, what's yeah. the fuck you? They don't want to fuck the guy with the purse and the. He's like, I'm non-binary, whatever. No. I saw they an wanted, interesting they study. Say it's safe they for them. I they're s- always thinking about. They want that fucking person that can actually protect them when something happens. It is, it is a fucking man. It's almost like they're testing you with the yeah. smoke stuff. To like, are you are you a man? Are you gonna like submit to my ideas? Or are you gonna have your own fucking ideas? Don't you? Mm. You know. I don't know. I don't know that any of that's so. true. It's true well, in yeah. theory, it's but true in theory, I. Yeah. But also, I I saw something the other day. It also day depends fucking, on the individual. I think right. This blew yeah. my mind. They're saying that birth control has been linked. To women being attracted to men with less testosterone. 
Mm. Interesting. Isn't that like a crazy? Like but that makes how, a lot of sense. It that makes, makes sense, sense in yeah, a way. It's like okay, at least they're they're not going to impregnate me, so I might as well have a nice time and be and feel safe and fucking feel like he can't hurt me. I could beat the shit out of him if I wanted to. <laughs> but if like <laughs> if there's a possibility of you being impregnated and you having this child, you're like I'm not having that. Well, they also like guys like Zach, they're not going to cheat, right? And they can turn them into like a lifetime yeah like, person, bitch. And then just fuck guys like Matt on the side, I guess, once in a while on vacation. But that's that's what they do. Like, you know, that's what happens in, in general. Like, you yeah. know, they they think they want this nice, you know, this nice fucking safe relationship. Then they're 10 years in. They feel terrible, but they don't know what to do. And then they just, they have someone on the side. There's a book called yeah. Sperm Wars. I've heard about this book, yeah. It's a, it's a great book. And it, it explains how, based on uh, ovulation cycles, women mm. will like actively seek out completely different types of facial features. Different types of like mm. occupations will become more or less attractive. Just men in general, like as they're typecasted, like the cucks and the fucking betas and the alphas, kind of fucking thing. But uh, one of the things that always blew my mind, continues to blow my mind, is that, like ten percent of fathers are not the actual biological fathers to their kids. 10%. I, I, heard, in France, I heard in France it's it's even more than it, that. It's it, like this was years ago, so it could be more yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. 10% of kids are not, not the fathers they think they are. But you know, yeah. you know oh. some, something else that's kind of close to that is um, that my buddy Bo told me that he read about it. Uh, you know, like the, sh- the shape of our dick, like there's like a kind of a hook on top of it. When you're when you're fully hard, I don't have the hook. Yeah, I know, pussy. But uh, the, the 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 hook is a like hook? I don't know. It's not not a hook. Like you never seen like, that? Like, like a, a curve? Like a mushroom? Yeah, like a curve. curve. No, like a fuck, like a kind of a mushroom at the top. Okay. Like, like a there's, a, be- there's a there's a head that, yeah. there's a head at the top of yes, it. The, the, the big ones, <laughs> the big ones have that anyway. But that's that's. <laughs> Hold because, on, let me let me pull it up. That's be- that's because like it's you know whatever whatever weak dick has been fucking. The woman before like the biggest stick is the one that it's better to be impregnated so the head of it goes in and pulls out the the last cum it uh, fucking squeezes in pulls out the rest of it and then that the, so the biggest stick i don't know <laughs> this is what your theories are you this no way? i well somebody else told me this i did not obviously fact check it but this is this that's is something that's that, interesting that's interesting I wonder if a dude's like if you got uh, you doubt you guys you guys are packing obviously but like I wonder if like a dude's Ouch. ever ever been about to Six fuck okay. and then a woman do you th- I want to ask a chick this but like if they've ever like rejected a dude based on their dick you yeah, know like yes. you get that you think that happens I've, like, well, I've known guys with huge cocks that have been rejected for being too big wow it can be a problem sometimes if they're too big wow. well I I couldn't have sex the other day uh, because I would take that That's she good. wasn't if your dick was too big. I would. I wouldn't. A couple of weeks ago, she she wasn't feeling too well, and she was like, I had had sex with her before, and she was like, it's just it's too big, and she can't do it. Nice. Tonight. How but big is it? It's not. It's not crazy. It's not eight inches, enough. seven inches. It's like it's probably like seven, but it's 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 seven. Thick. It's, not that it's big. like seven or no, it's not long, but it's it's like thick. it's it's good. Is she it's really? Is she really <laughs> tiny? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. She was pretty small. There's, there's also different size vaginas, right? But so, but one of my ex, uh, one of my exes, she said that she was, she went, she was having a threesome with a couple before, and then she, she said I got back there and I saw. Oh, you the, broke up with that girl? This, this was a while back. Oh, well, okay. yeah, I've broken up with all my exes, or whatever. <laughs> but like, yeah, this was uh, from back, back a while back. But she, uh, yeah, she was having a threesome with this couple before we met, and she said. She only did stuff with the girl because she saw the guy's dick and she's like, that piece of shit dick is not coming anywhere near me. <laughs> Just too tiny? Yeah. Oh, damn. Well, yeah. So, so too lucky. small. Too small. Yeah. Poor oh. yeah. It's crazy they haven't figured that out yet, like how to make a dick bigger. I'm sure you can. Have lips bigger, asses, titties. You definitely can, I would assume. Can you? I don't know. Oh, that sounds sketchy to me. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be doing it. Like, yeah, it's sketchy. No, I've, I've made peace with my dick. Yeah, yeah. I used to be convinced I had such a tiny dick because the, the first dicks I saw were porn dicks. Yeah. So I thought everyone in the world had a giant <laughs> cock, and I was one with a small cock. And then in grade six, I remember this girl Jessica like offered me a hand job at MSN Messenger, and she's like, "I want you to come over and do stuff with me or whatever." And I said no because I was scared. I said no. I'm waiting for marriage. That's what I said. Like 
fucking pussy. Uh, but the real reason was I didn't want people to, in the school to know I had a small dick. Mm. And I think the, my biggest regrets in life are all the pussy I could have gotten in my in my youth yeah. that I didn't do because of fear. Th- those those situations still haunt me to this day. Because there's, there's so many of those. Some people peak so too many early, man. Some people peak too early got, and they get to easy like that. It's like someone messages they don't, them on they don't, MSN they, Messenger. They don't appreciate you want it. a hand job? Like that doesn't always happen. You have to kind of, you have to do good shit later on when you're, when you're an adult, you actually have to be wanted. I hope I'm a late bloomer thing. with pussy. Cause like I've gotten sporadic <laughs> pussy throughout my life, but I want like, I want a fucking epic run. On the high now, caliber plume time. I was going to ask you. Now that you're uh, sober and fit and your mind is right. I think it's, it's going to be, be, I think it's, it's be just going to make you. I'm going to get back into doing sets. You know what's going to happen? Into you're doing gonna, what? Sets. Sex? Sets. Sets? Sets. Yeah. Oh, fucking, he's like looking, he's, he means pick up. Like pick up he wants, sets, he's, yeah. he wants oh, yeah. to go. I'm getting back into that. Yeah. He wants to go talk to ladies is what he yeah. <laughs> Sets. I, I quit all my addictions. I want to harness my. You know what? You know what your first. Put into comedy and pussy. Your first step should. Money. You know what your yeah. first step should Money be? And fitness and shit. Yeah. Absolutely. All good stuff. Do you like fucking Stavros? Uh, double the brain, double the head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, your first step if you want to do that is like stop saying sets. Why? Ain't the boys. I always say it in front of girls. <laughs> so, it just sounds re- He didn't know what the fuck you so were you're, saying. You're not like a yeah, trained you you train pickup artist. No, that's the problem. I, I'm very fucking. I read, you're, you're nerdy with the shit. Star Wars is a pickup artist book. I know that. <laughs> the first rule of pickup <laughs> artistry. You don't yeah. talk about it. Yeah, no, no, you you're like girls. You talk about guys. No, no you, that's what, you, I know, I you literally. You, yeah. No, you have to get over all of that no, shit. No, I know, I know, I know. It, it's, like it's you just gotta be, it's gotta be a way of life. They, I'm dude, the guy who talks to girls in public. It's a cult. Right? No, it's not even that. It's a fucking cult. Some of it's some of it's good. They're they are good. these people are these people are rich saying. marketing experts who figured <laughs> out. They yeah, it's still going. This is still fine, right? It's this fine. one's still going. They figured out how to capitalize on desperate men and how to turn nerds into a bunch of fucking. Stupider looking nerds. I disagree with you. I think there are those guys. I think there's some guys who have genuine intentions to help people and have good information. Few and far between. We talk about the industry. Yeah, but yeah, I, don't, I, don't, course, I, I, I follow one guy. I, follow, I listen to one guy. Who? RSD Tyler, Owen Cook. Um, he changed my life. Yeah. He just did. I know what you're saying. It's a business. I don't know. But he's he's as scummy as they get in the whole thing. Not, but I, I, you, I can, you can take you can take good shit from them. And not he, I, them every now and then, he has yeah. good teaching, bro. He, every now and then, the best thing he taught me was competitive energy versus collaborative energy. Meaning, some people go into a club and they think I need to make Darren and Matt look bad so I look good and then girls will like me, right? Mm. But that actually is beta because if you guys are my friends, I want you to shine too. So then you go in there with a collaborative energy where it's like, I want your ideas. I want to create like a fun fire together. Mm. And then we all get laid, which is a collaborative energy. Yeah. And I took that. Not that I was super competitive before I wasn't, but now that I changed this collaborative energy, I like him so much better socially and get mm. such better reactions from people. And RC Tyler taught me that that's one of his ideas. Yeah. And that one idea has stuck with me for, for my, my entire life. I think it's helped my comedy even with like crowd work and stuff. Be like, I'm going to take what you said and incorporate it into my ideas and they'll have fun together. Yeah, if you want your light to shine bright, you got to surround yourself with other shit. And you want, I want other people's light to shine too. And then yeah. we all shine together and we all have fun. We all get money and get laid and shit. Mm. You know? So, that's good yeah, idea. it's not a bad, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. Not that he, he, he didn't create that idea. No. But. And they all have, they all have those aspects. But part of the whole deal isn't that, like, you're, obviously you're sensible, you're sensible, and you're, you, you kind of get, oh, I could take this. Take little bits and pieces, yes. They, they don't. He hasn't, it, got, he hasn't an, got a cent out of me. Though, also, what? He hasn't got a cent out of me. No, and that's so the thing. Like, they don't. They don't want to see you take off and and succeed and be rolling yeah, in it. No. They don't want to see that. I've been in these first for instance, and like I, I'll be full fully up front. I've been in these groups online, and when I started getting success or whatever, I I would post certain things or say, hey, like things things are going well for me. This is what I've learned. Hey, this has been helpful for me, whatever. And I, I actually got banned from groups for posting yeah, those, success. Those are loser guys though. Those are loser guys. These were, these were bigger fucking, these were the biggest groups that I, I could have found. At was the it time. The, right. It's just, 
they don't want they don't but you learn first, from you learn from being on the groups absolutely they want to keep absolutely. they want to keep you dependent on the group <coughs> but they want you to be they want you to be but that's, but that's everything yeah. that's everything that's every industry like like if, if you run a restaurant and then you're fucking somebody starts being unbelievable and doing shit loads of good work for you and yeah. they, now they're your second in command they're doing everything you cannot lose them but that that's everything we're talking about lose. we're talking about like literally somebody's personal growth like every but every, every, book but that's you what read, every, every book you read, a guy made money off of it. We've got good stuff out of it. It's a value. Exchange. Different, it's different value thing. Exchange. It's just a different, but it's a different thing. Like this is like, we're talking about like improving the quality well, of people's lives. I'm sure life. for improving people's lives, right? It depends. Yeah. But like a psychologist, actually, yeah, even then, like certain, you could say this about a lot of industries. I'm, I'm just, when I talk about this, and part of it is that the way they use like terminology and like language is literally just to make some men retarded because like yeah. I've been there. Yeah. Like I've literally been that 18 year old, like confused fucking retard yeah. who was like reading no, all these mean, manuals and all this shit. And learning side, all there's the a dark jargon. side to it. There's can, a very there's, fucking there's dark side to it. There's something called self-development junkies. Mm. Yeah. I, mean, I was miserable for a long time. I was a lost person and I try, I read a bunch of shit. I tried a lot of different things. The thing that has helped me the most is actually uh, the 12 steps of recovery. Yeah. It's been the most thing that's changed my life the most. And the funny thing is it's completely free. Mm. It's the only free thing I've tried to. I've tried vitamins. I've tried pickup artistry. I've tried therapy. Um, I've tried like different books, whatever, like these self-development books you hear about. And that, that was the big, that changed my life the most was that. Is the 12 step program something that you do? Do you do the 12 steps every, every day, day? Every day. Every day you do. The, all, you're it's, not it's at, a, it's at a, step 12. You're not at I'm at eight. step 12. I have a sponsee. So step 12 is you get a sponsee and you help him through the steps. I have a sponsee right now. But oh, yeah, so you work up to step twelve, but you still do step one it's, every day. So did I meet this guy two days ago? Yes, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a weird guy. It's cool though. Welcome out. Why? I'm not saying. Okay, anything. fuck. I just you won't watch this girl. But he I, 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 I literally didn't so, say. So sorry, I think I like it myself. But he's at the beginning. Yeah, he's at the beginning of he's his. Beginning. Okay, yeah, he's, he, beginning. he's gonna get where you are, and then he's. I like him. He's an eccentric guy. He's cool. But uh, what was I saying? Uh, the 12 steps you do. You, so you do step one every day. So still. it's more of a, it's a spiritual lifestyle that you implement into your daily life. It's like exercise kind of, mm. you go to the gym to get jacked. You go to AA to get like spiritually jacked and it's something you work on every day. You can deepen things. So my, so what do you mean spiritually jacked? Um, self love, um, not thinking about myself all the time, thinking mm -hmm. about others, mm -hmm. uh, connected to people. Um, a big part of it's letting go resentments actually uh, every night before bed, I write down my resentments, my fears, um, and a few other questions it asks me that I'm blanking on resentments, fears, um, regrets, things like that. You let that shit go. You let it go and you get aligned with whatever your idea of a higher power is. Yeah. How does that work? Do you believe in God or what I is do, that? I do. Yeah. I believe in God. Yeah. Like a Christian God or what? No, no, it's pretty, it's pretty vague and ambiguous to be honest. Can, mm. And that's another cool thing. It can be kind of your idea of God. It can be fucking nature. It can be, you know, brotherhood. Mm. It can be whatever you want. Whatever makes sense. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awa. It can be Awa. Is that the blue, blue people got? That's it. Yeah. 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 That's her. That's her. Did you see, the, you see the new avatar? I saw it three times. <laughs> On mushrooms? Yeah. Mushrooms the first time. Acid and shrooms the second time. That's hilarious. And, uh, I, so I loved the first one. Loved it. Yeah. Um, it was obviously beautiful the second one. Yeah, but I was the entire time I was thinking, I'm like, it would it would take mushrooms for me to think this is a good movie, for me to get over the script and shit. Yeah, but I mean, it looks fucking stunning. It's, it's but, on, but on mushrooms, it's fantastic. Do, do you no, have? No. I, I can. I think I probably need to plug in my phone as well. If you have a charger. But uh, on mushrooms is I just bet. fantastic. I, I bet it was. Because you, you're just was. you're just in there. There's a the, it was the third time that because I had seen I. The second time was better than the first time um, because I went to the IMAX version of it and I was like literally in the movie. Like I was fucking, I was fully invested and it was just amazing. But uh, the third time, the third time was like, okay, what are you doing? You, this is too much. This is, it, this is all within like a week and a half. You've watched it three times. So I knew everything that was going to happen before it happened. And then that's when I like found some of the dialogue a little bit off or a little bit different but i didn't mind i didn't mind yeah, at yeah. all like it, it's not something that i like i just think 
it's I better just, for my life if I just enjoy stuff. Like I don't need I to, you. I you. you know, I, I don't need to pick out the bad shit. I, I just going to do good shit. I'm more I'm often like that. Like, but with this movie, I felt like James Cameron, you spent $5 billion to make this movie. Hmm. Just do the thing you're good at. Which like is, billion or whatever it is. All right. Billions yeah, of dollars. Yeah, just, whatever it was. It was billions of dollars. Though. Yeah. It was something billion. Yeah. Just do the part you're good at, which is making the world. Yeah. And then just hire a script writer. Hmm. But he's like he's such a he's, he's like I need to do everything. He has an idea. He has, but but it's not it's it, it's not that bad. There was a few. There's a it's few. A big, things it's kind of, it's kind of a repeat. It's kind of repetitive. This is this actually. Oh, of, it's the same. Story. I haven't seen any of them. It's the same story as the first one. Even the villains from the first one come back. They're they're alive again. Yeah, but there's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of more. But it's that that villain is going to go to the go Why why are you carrying all this resentment? No, it's, but he's going to be the or same villain not. in uh, in all I don't want James Cameron to die. I just didn't love the movie. <laughs> and shouldn't I, he die? <laughs> I don't get it. Do you snap his neck too? <laughs> I love I love the first Avatar, but yeah. I saw it in high school. Weed was like new to me. I remember like we smoked yeah. weed and saw it. It was incredible. Yeah, yeah. All the woke yeah. people got mad at him because it's like the the white savior complex. The white guy goes in to see the natives and yeah. Them. That's just a hack. And it's some, a hack some, movie some, premise. Someone it's, mentioned it's, the other it's day. It's Pocahontas. Think, it's The Last Samurai. Yeah. All these movies are the exact same thing. It's a white guy goes to the native people and saves them. But so, somebody mentioned, uh, I think it was Tim Dillon, he said, yeah, Avatar is the one movie, it's like there is no black people in it because all the humans are bad. So yeah, it's yeah. just they let them all be white. Are we allowed? Can we do Blueface? Is that okay? I think that's fine. Yeah, yeah Blueface. <laughs> But no, but I I really enjoyed it. I really yeah, enjoyed it. I thought I thought even just there was still I'm sure mushrooms were incredible. There was still new amazing. messages in it as well, like yeah. for, that wasn't there in the well, first people... one. Just him them adapting to to the water life. Just adapt that yeah. you can. You don't have to do the same shit for your whole life. You it's like I'm a builder. My dad was a builder, and my mm-hmm. kids are going to be builders. It's like you can do whatever you want. That's you a, can literally a, do anything you want. And even though I, like I'm a comedian now. I also can do something else. Like I could be a doctor if I wanted to, just going to school and learn for seven years. I, it's not something I want to do, but like whatever looks good to me, I might jump over and do that. Like I'm not stuck in a box forever. Mm. That's you know that's the takeaway that I got. That's a from. beautiful takeaway. Yeah, mm. But uh, and but yeah, and and obviously on shrooms, it's, it's just very visually pleasing as well. Yeah, of course. But but yeah, it, it took me to watch the third time to be able to connect with what you're saying, mm. the, like the negativity in it, mm. which is. It's it's there. It's there yeah. if you look for just some really bad clunky dialogue and stuff. Yeah, there was a couple of yeah and too repetitive. Yeah, there was a couple of times. There's a couple of really good parts in it, but there's there is a couple of times it's like and cheesy they said cheesy that callbacks. So, the they said it so robotic, or it's yeah, just yeah. like that was a weird way to say that. Yeah. Also, mm-hmm. the, the one bit like the the kids say his his oldest son. There's one there's a scene at the end. It's not there's like it shows him as an adult. And it shows him as a kid, and then it's like they're from two different countries. Mm. The accent, like mm. the, one of the kids has <laughs> like a fucking has like an African accent. The kid has an African accent, or no, the adult has like an African accent. The kid has like a Canadian accent. You know what I also hate in movies when the big plot twist is like so and so is related to so and so. Like, oh, this person's, oh, it's actually, that guy's actually his dad, and that's like the big plot twist. Yeah, I hate that in movies. I just feel like it's an easy way to like create to just intrigue fucking, and drama. Yeah, just it's like, like it's like it's lazy to me. Like in the Batman, they did that. It's like, oh, the Catwoman's actually related to the mob boss. It's like, yeah. I don't give a shit. It's the same as it's, shock it's, it's actually It's actually more interesting when they're not related and they have two different lives. Yeah. Why does everyone have to be fucking related to each other? Mm. It's boring. Yeah. And that's like one of the big turns in the movie. Mm. Oh, wow. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. It's hack. Like, it's, like, it's hack. Mm. I think car accents are hacked too sometimes. <laughs> they're like, like, like oh, we, need, we, need, we need some drama. Let's sort of car accents. Like when their parents died in a car accident. Yeah, kids are fun. Yeah. That's also real, though. People do die in car crashes. Like a lot of people die in. It scares me. I don't, I've never driven crazy. a car. Twenty nine. I've never driven a car. Really? I mean, I'm terrified of cars. You know? right. um, I want to get over it. Cause yeah. I want to be a fucking man and drive. But yeah. so far it happens. Imagine just your first time driving, then you just get killed. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <Kurt. laughs> Always imagine that for the rest of your life. Well, just the one, the one thing is, you can get good. You can get good at driving. You can. <laughs> That's do, a good drive. You could do like driving courses. You what the. What are you, you talking about? <laughs> scared, I, I think even I know that's bullshit. Oh, really? He scares the fuck out of me sometimes. I thought he was a fun driver. He's like singing and shit and hitting on chicks. Like, ah, that's fun. Yeah, it is fun. Yeah. But fun is not a good driver. Right, usually, actually, those are, those are usually competing 
But I like, uh, I like being the one in control. He's like, drinking oh, beers man. by the wheel. It's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. I've had way too many friends to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah me too. But um, yeah, people criticize Marvel movies a lot because they say they're repetitive or whatever. But what they don't understand is those movies speak to us on a spiritual level because Marvel, like, yeah, Marvel movies because it's the first story ever. It's it's good conquering evil. Yeah, and that story will play out time and time again in life. But it's just it's like are, it's you, are you just are you just formula. regurgitating Jordan Peterson videos right now? Yeah, why is that Jordan Peterson? Thing? I think so. I don't. I know. think it's also true though. Yeah, I do believe that. Also, clean your room. That's one of my ideas. Yeah, you probably. That's your idea. Came up with that. Fairly bad doesn't listen to fucking Jordan Peterson. No, <laughs> fuck I'm this is probably. It's actually, I, actually, I actually came in today, and this is this is the like, this is clean, okay, Well, that's my stuff. But he's yeah, doing no, shit. He's fucking. He's playing guitar. He's lifting weights. He's doing shit. He's, he's living. No, it actually looks fantastic right now. It's fine. It's not fantastic, but it's it it's, pa- it's, it's a yeah. pass, dude. Like I would bring a girl in now. But you brought girls in when it was a tip. So, the other day, I, I had a girl, like, coming over at, like, midnight, right? right? And so she was like, oh, I'll be there at midnight. I'm like, come at, like, 1230 because I was on my way home. I wasn't home yet. And then uh, she's like, actually, can you just pick me up? So I parked my car outside of my place. I came in here, plunged my toilet because as soon as she said that, I realized that there was just a bunch of shit in my toilet. Ew. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, fuck. You just it. That's, a, that's a hard one. Like, I, I could, like, there's a lot of things that I would let slide, but I don't know, man. You can't, I don't know. Like, you can't just bring, how do you, what do you do at that point? You bring a girl over and just. Yeah, that's tough. That might be like a. How are you getting out of that with, you with, could, with you, the wind? You, you should have just, like, you should have just came here and let, leave the door. A jar, go and collect her, and then come back and be like, "What the fuck?" Well, that and then come in, that- it's like somebody just trashed the place. <laughs> they took a shit. They took a shit. Of Jesus Christ! I don't know what the fuck happened here. Yeah, like, where's my Where's my TV? Yeah, they got a TV there. Dude, when I was living, where are all my valuables? When I first moved to Chinatown, I didn't have a bed, right? So I was sleeping on a yoga mat. Mm. And we went to the Pride Parade, and I was doing my my dark arts, my pickup archery. And at the Pride Parade, at the eh? Pride Parade, yeah. Why are gay guys that hard to pick up for you? It was great. Fuck you. <laughs> I was looking for a hot tranny. No, <laughs> but this girl's there too, right? So I, I met this girl. She was she was like maybe like a six or something, whatever. She was whatever. And I pulled her to my place, and she goes like, "Ew, like where's your bed?" And I'm like, "Someone stole my bed." <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And then I fucked her on the yoga mat. It was nice. making like those weird like. Like squishing noises and uh, whatever. Fine. Did she believe that someone sold you? No, that? I was, no, it was a joke. It was a joke. Yeah, yeah. But the joke, it's the, joke the joke, right, iced it over. The joke iced it over. Yeah. <laughs> but if she had like any self esteem and was like a nine or something, yeah, she probably would not have been. Made I, yeah, I, I that had, place was disgusting. I had an air mattress that was like it would deflate itself all the time. <laughs> but like I had that for three months or whatever, mm-hmm. however long I was living in this place. Yeah. Both girls would come over. Like they never like looked at it. And were like no. It was all like the work is already done by the time you go to the room. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're disappointed. Yeah. It's too late at that point, and yeah. they didn't come back again. This girl was trash. You didn't care. Yeah, trash. I was the prize. Yeah. You know those ones where you're the hot one. <laughs> yeah, I, no. I, 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 I guess I fuck because I, they give me anxiety because I'm like I say things because I'm too honest and I'm like if people saw that I'd feel really bad. It would really hurt their feelings. When you I don't. Still. I don't like hurting people's feelings. See again, yeah. this moment of self reflection comes here, calling a girl a six, but not at like, I don't know, like yeah, you know, sometimes I just want to kill an old lady, you know, <laughs> like fucking. Sometimes I just say scream, like scream slurs and that racial is, slurs in my pillow. That doesn't hurt anybody. These feelings are hurt. What racial slurs? Yeah, I don't know. Like unfunny pussies. Pussies. I'm racist against unfunny people. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Light, light the fuck up, you jerks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. just be funny. Like there's just only one there's one rule of comedy. And Dude, people are laughing. There's this That's new the there's this new black comic named Nate. He's like nineteen or twenty. Coolest kid ever. He goes he goes, uh the N word's a racially inclusive term. Anybody can use it. So he said to me. Oh yeah? And then I went, My nigga, we we did, <laughs> did one of those. And then I'm like, Oh dude, you gotta be on the casting couch tonight. And then he came and did it. That was his first time performing comedy. Yeah? He was on the casting couch. And he did it? And he, he killed it, he's dude. Funny. He was dancing. He was rapping. He was, yeah, he's awesome. Oh, that's And he's 19? Yeah. That's sick. He's got a sense that's of music. Sorry, I've said it's two weeks. So I apologize. Uh, that, that one, but you, you literally got the permission for that one. That's true. You mean the other question. So, 
the first Context. one. First one, <laughs> first one will throw a little beep there. And um, <laughs> now they'll know what, what's on the beep, I guess, but uh, it doesn't matter. You're going to beep it. The first one, will I? I don't know. When, when I post on YouTube, it might get know. taken off. Yeah, it's three, problem, three right? white guys with one in the middle. It's just a little sus. It's just a little sus. What what can you do? What can you do? I think it's worse that I just said sus. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's cultural appropriation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Literally that's, you're, worse. You're appropriating your cucks yeah. by doing that, using their word. I don't know, man. Is it cucks? Is that a cuck term? I don't know. I'm I'm good enough at rapping where I feel I feel comfortable saying uh slang terms. Yeah. Yeah. Are yeah. you that good? I'm pretty good, dude. Yeah. Holy shit! You know, I want. I want to make one of my one there. of my New Year's resolutions is making mixtape. Yeah. Yeah. I want to make mixtape. You know what's hilarious? This um, I'm I'm gonna be performing music for like I just got this post saying like they want musicians for like a retirement home with people with dementia, so I'm gonna start volunteering there. But I think oh, that cool. would be that would be pretty fucking great to see you just show up with a boombox. Yeah. Just start doing what? What if? Would uh, you do that? Perform for old people? Right? Yeah. yeah, I would. You would, eh? Yeah. I would probably do like a freestyle thing. I'd be like, okay, I need some words from the audience. If Matt, if Matt, gives, if Matt gives you a beat here with the guitar, you want to rap about Comedy Bear? Sure. Is this your guitar? <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> See, it doesn't have to be about Comedy Bear. It can be about whatever. It can be about no, okay, Comedy Bar is one topic we'll do. You can be another topic or something. Comedy Bar. Um, it's 420. You know, it's 420. You want to blaze? <laughs> Relapse in the clock. <laughs> He's got yeah, to go I'll pray. Smoke, I'll smoke a cigarette. It's fine. Um, so yeah, comedy bar. Quitting cigarettes. Okay. And uh, is this how we're going to end? Yeah, it's been, it's been over. Uh, time is like 420. I went to comedy bar last night. Last night. I went to comedy bar last night. I went to comedy bar last night, almost got in a fist fight with Brandon Zakai. I don't even know why. Probably cause he's a Jewish guy and I love Kanye West. I'm just kidding, homie, getting some shit off my chest. When I'm MC and I'm the motherfucking best. Got to Manhattan on my family crest. Darren's a bitch, you can't quit cigarettes. I love a bad bitch in silhouette. Mic check till I'm dead and gone. When I'm on the microphone, I'm a motherfucking god. All I do is step on stage and spit lightning rods from the hand of Zeus. You want proof? All I do is self improve and speak truth in the balloon. Comedy bars full of a bunch of phonies. LA faggots, they get fucking blow me. When I'm high in crystal meth, I'm only one can know me with the force. I'm a ghost ride, a motherfucking horse. I'm getting torched off the liquor. Fuck that, I'm a dark winter. Dark wizard, shout out to the dark winter for teaching me that I'm a natural born killer. Nobody's more mentally iller. Yeah, straight out of Camp <laughs> Gold. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. Uh, this was so fun, boys. By the way, yeah, man, this you guys are very, fun. you guys are very stimulating people to have conversations with. Yeah, we we we, we came we came in hot today. Me and Matt were we're going yeah, head to head, but I think that's I think that's fine. It's, it's I, real. Like we're we're real. Whatever real. whatever happens, we're real. It's real. But I wanted to hear, no. But I genuinely wanted before you go. Like I wanted to hear about your night last night. Okay, so we'll, without you rapping it, like just, I did, uh, I did bitter show. We could talk about. I did bitter we show. Do the ad as well, but I've never done comedy bar before besides like the bucket show. Right. So it's kind of exciting to do a real show on it. Really? Yeah, I've never. Did that. you ever do like the Dana had a show there once? I thought you did that. I didn't do that one. Oh, you did the other one or what? Yeah, I, didn't, yeah, okay. I didn't want. I didn't want the Royal. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Um, and what, night, what night was this? What's the night? What's the Salto? When is Wednesday night? Mm. Is that last night? No, uh, so it was Friday. Friday. It's it's okay, so it was Wednesday night, and I was excited to do it. I was kind of nervous because I wanted to do well, and then uh, I got there, and it was just bitter. It was mostly just bitters buddies. It was packed, but it was all bitters buddies. So I'm like, oh, I can just do whatever. There's like normal dudes. Who bitter? Bitter. He's a new guy. Okay, I don't know. Okay, yeah, he's a cool kid. He's new. He's only like a year in a comedy or whatever. Cool, cool. Um, and the show was good. I had a good set. It was fun, but I just noticed the energy in comedy bar. Like, I don't like it. Like, I find it very like. When people are talking to me, it's very LA. Yeah, it's very phony. It's like mm. you're saying one thing to me, but I have a sense my my sensors are saying you're, you mean another. 
Yeah. And yeah. I was just talking to somebody why, outside, yeah. and we we're talking about comedy, whatever, and I just – I made the comparison to L.A. I'm like, comedians – Whatever it it's kind of gay. The Royal feels like more like New York to me. <laughs> this way. makes sense. It really does. It's like Comedy Bar's LA, the Royal's yeah. New York. This makes so sense. Somebody, yeah. somebody... She laughed when I said LA. She's like, oh, that's so funny. I'm like, no, so you don't true. get it. It's so just, true. that's literally my, what it, it's showbiz. It's like the bad parts of LA. Yeah, you think. Like my the buddy, funniness, the backstabbing. Complete. Like, my oh, buddy was such a great set, but then they're probably like, oh, did you hear what Matt said last night? He said, he said that gay slur. Like, so they're nice to you, but you, you sense something beneath what? Yeah, what's going yeah, on? I can also be paranoid, probably less so these days, where I'd make up narratives in my head that weren't necessarily real. Mm. But I'm in a good place right now, so I don't think I was doing that. I think this was actually happening. Yeah, because I'm sure some people there are cool. They're normal people. Some of them. My buddy was saying me earlier. Comics. My buddy was saying me earlier, and he just said, "Have you ever done any comedy bar?" I remember when I was there, I had some good times there, but I heard it's like really woke. Now. Brain is a guy. He's, 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 he's a spineless creep. Though, he's like not. <laughs> oof. My he buddy really is. Not, keep, my keep buddy's, going. I, I he's like, a fraud. I like him, but. But I, I'm oh, open Darren, to anything. Decide. You don't need to. Right now, motherfucker. No, you're like I, you're. I pick <laughs> you, kidding, but but I don't. Kidding, you know, but okay. But I just no. But you can say whatever you we want. We used to be buddies. Me, yeah. Me, him, and Lee Fernandez hung out and got drunk one night, and we had fun. Whatever. I thought he was a cool guy. We were buddies, and we would do shows together. And he would like he would like ball wash me. He'd be like, dude, you're fucking brilliant. That was so funny. You're so talented. Blah blah blah. And then one day he just switched, and I'd see him at places, and he wouldn't acknowledge my existence. He would not talk to me. I'd be like, hey, dude, what's That's up? That's actually worse. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then um, and then I went to his open mic um, at fucking uh, Groove Bar. I sat there for two hours waiting for my set. He taps me on the shoulder 30 seconds before my set and goes, um, yeah, you're not going up tonight. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Why? It's like, it's, there's two people here. It's an open mic. He's like, oh, because uh, you say crazy shit on stage. I'm like, yeah, well, that's comedy, motherfucker. That's kind of why I got into comedy. You say crazy mm-hmm. shit on stage. That's what it is. And he goes, oh, yeah, sorry, you're not going on. And I, I kind of blew up and got mad at him and screamed at him or whatever. And then Czar, uh, Czar wanted to do, uh, wanted me to be on her show at wherever. And he was producing it with her. And he said, Do you want to let you? Jacob on the show? Yes, yeah, answer, <laughs> yeah, answer Jacob. Jacob Silva, you're live on uh, Two Gingers, One Mic. How you doing, buddy? What the fuck is up? Oh, fuck, I can't hear you. It's all shitty. Yeah, this is shit. He's worse audio production than we do. Yeah. J- Jacob will shit, shit on Brandon's guy, wouldn't he? He's, no, he's not a pussy like Darren. Why is the audio so bad? <laughs> Why is the audio so bad? Maybe it's my phone. It might be my phone. Threatening to sue you? Okay, this is breaking news, guys. Josh Infold is threatening to sue Jacob Silva. I don't believe it. Why is he threatening to sue you? Do you want this on the internet? This is probably not. Yeah, good, this right? is live. This is live now, Jacob. We didn't warn him, so fuck him. We don't edit this. We don't have the funds. Okay, call. Join the live or something. Can you do that? Um, Actually, there is a way could, he could yeah. do that, or we can invite him. Okay, bye, but bye. yeah, that was Whatever. shit. We can't, we can't hear him. I now I want to hear that shit. Fuck your story. I know that's such a, <laughs> that's such a juicy <laughs> story. Yeah, you like, want to call him on your phone? Um, you want to call him on your phone? Uh, I don't know. Who did he say, Josh? We like Josh is a good I love care. Josh. So we Josh, love, I know. We love Infel. Josh the is fuck? the best. We, yeah, we love him. What is he talking about? I don't even. This, believe it's that. not. It's not our story to tell, though. Really. But this is comedy. We need it. Yeah, you got to okay. air out your dirty laundry on podcasts and create beefs. That's how we get intrigue. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to, it's fine. If this is radio to, drama. I'm no, I, I'm right? not. I, listen, I'm. I'm not either way for any of this. It, it, I'm not. I, can I go ahead. Can I finish go my ahead. brain? It's a guy yeah, thing. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. So he produced a show with Czar. I was supposed yeah. to be on it, and then he tells Czar, uh, "If you want me to produce it with you, like, you gotta kick, you gotta kick him off." Yo. <laughs> <laughs> we we hung up because we couldn't it's, hear you. It sounds shittier for a different reason now because he's coughing. Yeah. Now we can hear him, but he's just choking. <laughs> <laughs> can hear him. What's up, dude? What's, up. what's going on? I was choking on my vape. No, what did you hear? Because I, I started calling uh, someone else by accident. You said Josh about. wants to sue you. Oh, yeah. He keeps uh, commenting on my Instagram. Mark like, Norman. Like, yeah, he keeps making fun of me because, you know, I'm friends with famous people. <laughs> okay, relax. They're not, they're not your friends, they're, you're the driver. <laughs> You drove up one time. Mark Norman is only <laughs> semi-famous anyway. He's like a C-list yeah, celebrity. Hey, when, when I was in Ottawa with him, we were at a random bar, and someone came up to him and said, my buddy texted me, you're here, and gave him merch. So that's my buddy who's famous. That's sick. Um, 
Nice, and, uh, nice. You, know, you can stop. You can stop working now. You've I, made it. <laughs> what? You can stop working now. You've made it. I have. I've been. I'm literally Canada's biggest comedian. This. This is actually the most. You were, exposure. The, you were that since you started. We, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This is the most exposure a podcast has ever had. This is huge. I've been seen on uh, Tuesdays. With, I've been mentioned twice on Tuesdays with stories. I heard that. I enjoyed that. Drunk. I enjoyed that. Yeah, so you guys can suck yeah. my fan. And now you've been on two Gingers One mics. You've basically done mm. everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys have asked me to be on the podcast, but I'm not in town. But I have a town who loves to do the podcast. Yeah, no, we, we'll offer oh, for, for sure. For sure. But we, uh, but yeah, tell us, tell us what what happened. What's who? What's uh, happening? So essentially, essentially um, you're welcome for this content, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just uh, <laughs> we'll pay you with Instagram. vapes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just send it to my booking agent. Uh, he'll deal with all my payments. Say the book, and then you can yes spit it out. <laughs> Okay, so he keeps commenting on all my Instagrams, and I ignored it. I left it just a whack job. And then he started. So I run the social media on the Dark Comedy Festival. Yeah. He keeps fucking with our fans on all of our posts, like making fun of people who are commenting on it. And that's not cool. Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Is it funny that's, though? Is that's it, hilarious. Is it, is it that, is, that is hilarious. That's hilarious. Like, is what he's saying funny? Sorry? So he has, is, is what he's saying funny? Like, is are his comments funny? Like, objectively. No, no, he's just like, uh, people are saying, I want to see Bobby Kelly. He's going, you're a fucking loser for saying that. Mm. Uh, uh, okay. So yeah, well, Bobby, I, Bobby Kelly's going downhill, I thought. So he has a, he has a vendetta, <laughs> he has a vendetta against the Dark Comedy <laughs> Festival. The festival, because he's trying to start his own festival, because he didn't get booked in December, I think. Mm. But that, that's good. Holy that's health, healthy competition. But yeah, but, but what, how is he mm. suing? Open mic, Game Why of does he Thrones. Want to sue? <laughs> Yeah. 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 Let's see if we can get the Salta open mic running on a part of the festival. Well, that makes <laughs> that makes me sad because I absolutely adore Josh. But yeah, me too. I've never had an issue with him. I do too. I like him too. and Dana a lot, and I don't know why he has some issue with me on the festival. Well, yeah. he should he uh, should be booked on the festival. He's one of the funniest guys in the city. No, so. I agree with that. We tell him to come to a spot. He doesn't show up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They, well, well that, that's, they, they, yeah, they try to fair. they try to book him. He says he doesn't like the royal. Room. That's fair. That's fair. Um, I feel bad though. So, yeah, Josh so, would maybe so, hate us talking about this on the podcast. I don't know. Uh, he he would talk about himself. I, I, he would talk about I, himself. Yeah. He's very open. Josh okay, good. Is extremely yeah, good. candid. But yeah. essentially, essentially, I messaged him on my personal account said saying, "Saying you can fuck with me all you want, but don't fuck with the festival." I'm telling you this one time, or we're gonna have an issue. Because I don't want it. Why don't you just call him and talk to him like he's a reasonable human being? Mm-hmm. I don't have his phone number. I'm just gonna message him saying, "Stop fucking with the Instagram account." Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is kind of gay. Uh, I wish just like all the edge lords would get along and we could like create something <laughs> together. But like, because like we need our true enemy is like the wokes and the Machine women and the Kelly. wokes and the women, right? Mm. We're yeah, fucking yeah. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're together. We need to, we need to band together, brothers. We can't be bickering amongst the ranks. We do, we do. <laughs> I, I agree. All hang out, and get along together. If you're all banned at different venues. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Well, I performed at Comedy Bar on Wednesday, bitch, and the lab, cool. and the lab. Are you, are you talking about how the open mic at 11 p.m. on Tuesday goes into midnight on Wednesday? What are you talking about? <laughs> He's trying to say you did an open mic at, in the morning and you at midnight. He, it's a long-winded way of saying you weren't booked and you did an open mic. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. That All was right. that was a good one. But but hold on. But he said he's going to sue you for what? <laughs> Well, I said, uh, leave it alone. Like, leave, like, fucking leave me in the festival town alone, or we're gonna have an issue. And he said something sarcastic along the lines of, "Okay, you're never gonna have to tell me this again." I left that, and then 45 minutes later, he texts me saying he's gonna sue me. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that that's I, I, I don't know what basis he has to sue you. What what's what's he's, he suing you for? I'm not he's Jewish. With him suing me, sue I know he's Jewish, wants. but I definitely have. A Jacob, you are being sued for three counts of being a fat fag. <laughs> <laughs> And one count of being a hack. <laughs> How do you plead? <laughs> Your Honor, I have a thyroid issue. <laughs> <laughs> Put down the burger while you're speaking, or I'll have you in contempt. Doctor, can you be my witness in the trial? I'd like to bring forward Josh's uh, uh, fiance's former lover. Um, well, you're a sociopathic liar, so I will not be uh, doing that. I don't want to lie. On, I don't want to lie under oath. <laughs> 
Jacob, are you are you are you excited for our New York trip? I'm very excited. I've been messaging clubs all day for spots. I invited Hannah last night. Is that okay? <laughs> she said she would fuck me in New York. I'm like, okay, cool. On a Brooklyn, on a dusty Brooklyn floor beside you guys. Yeah, you're gonna fuck her on your yoga mat, James Thompson. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna use you as our fucking air mattress, <laughs> and then after I fuck her, I'm gonna def- deflate you and put you in the cupboard where you, where you belong. <laughs> In the closet. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I, Dave Luca wants to come too, so I hope we all sit in my car. All right, let's actually let's bring Dave and Hannah. Yeah, Matt, you want to come, Darren? I'm actually in Chicago that weekend. Chicago, I like that you said that. <laughs> <laughs> You're in Chicago. That's cool. Yeah, you, yeah. I have fam- family over there. I haven't booked a show yet, but I'm gonna fucking send a couple of messages. Chicago is the best, one of the best cities in the world. Can you can you get me on that show? Do you know Do you know someone over there? Chicago, no, but you can ask Rob Mayo. He'd probably know. I will actually. I'll oh yeah, he does. He message. lived there for a while. Yeah. Okay, I'll send him a message. I think, Thank you. I think he burnt some uh, burnt some bridges in Chicago, but he might be able to I, say, "Don't use my name," but text this guy. I am not to be trusted, by the way. I am a fucking bean spiller. Yeah. What the fuck okay. is wrong with you? That's, I that's I, 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 can't, I can't help myself, <laughs> dude. <laughs> the other night at the lab, I started like uh, I don't want to say it. Forget it. <laughs> I started. I started <laughs> just launching into more shit. I started bringing up oh shit. I should talk about episode forty. Spilling oh the beans. <laughs> is this only episode forty? This is episode forty. That's yeah. it. I think I've been at this longer than that. Uh, well, I, I went home to Ireland. Oh, I went, bro, I went to Guatemala. <laughs> I went to Guatemala for three months. I went to Ireland for four months. We just started it a year ago. Yeah, I've known Darren and I've been out for, like for seven year years. And a bit now, and I think I've only been around him for three weeks. I, I'm go. I'm go. I'm going to India in March. This is definitely the longest oh. conversation I've had with Darren. Are you sure. going to find the wife? Uh, maybe a, a second one. <laughs> in Brazil or where? I'm Where's going it? to India. Oh, India. India. Oh, March, nice. For nice. like a couple of months. Yeah. Nice. A, yeah. farmer, a farmer will give you 75 Gs to marry his daughter. I'll take it and then fuck off with the money. You should just give him. Yeah, give her give her dad Jacob. He's a cow. <laughs> 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 hey, Dasher, have you gotten, uh, how much more weight have you gained since the last I've been week? losing weight actually I've been uh, killing it in 2023 He's, he uh, looks good he looks I good hard, hard to believe. my new year's resolution is to become an alpha and transcend all gayness <laughs> so far so good that's it well I think you have to leave your apartment first to do that no Rob and Gigi, Rob and Gigi are moving in uh, you gotta be joking they are Oh, that's going to be great for everybody involved. It'll be great for me. My rent will be cheap as fuck. I don't care. Oh, is this the dog you're talking about? What? You said you're getting a dog. Is this what you're referring to? Oh, Gigi? No. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, you're talking. Is it spilling the beans or burning bridges? <laughs> burning it's bridges. Fine. They're our friends. Yeah, yeah. No, no. no. What I happened at Comedy Lab? Just more Just a joke about the tell two of them, not, not Gigi. You pause it? Oh, no. No. Yeah. I'll just say this it. I'll just say it. There's a theory that I'm I'm just burning bridges. Jesus Christ. Oh well, whatever. Uh, there's a theory that Dan Lamar is a closeted homosexual. Oh Jesus. And he was. <laughs> <laughs> and he was. He wasn't. He wasn't. He, he wasn't there that night. I'm like, oh, I'm glad no one's here. I so I can say racist shit and like, where, where is that closeted homosexual anyway? And then everyone's like, <laughs> that's. Oh. I don't even know the guy. I don't know if he's a closeted homosexual, but that's a rumor. Uh, that's a rumor going around. Well, I have never heard that. One of your coked up passes. And w- but what happened then? You just you got no. That was it. That was the end of my set. There was nobody there. Oh okay. But I'm retarded. That, I'm so I'm I'm sorry. I'm mentally ill. And retarded. That's it. Maybe he's the black guy that raped you when you were high on meth. No, up. that guy only had one eye. Is <laughs> <laughs> the eye of his cock? <laughs> <laughs> I sucked his one-eyed monster. His nose. his nose looks like big black testicles. <laughs> this is cool. This feels like a real radio show. We're taking calls and shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, we've, yeah we've, we've moved up a level. I feel like, we're on, Opie, so I feel like we're on Opie and Anthony. Mm-hmm. This is it. This is the new one. It's the new one, I'm, baby. I'm trashing Jacob over the over the phone. <laughs> Opie and Anthony shit. Yeah, your your friend who's friends with famous people, you trash him off the phone. No, we're not friends with anybody, dude. <laughs> I'm going to see Rich Voss in New York. Be like, hey, man, remember me? We did a show together. He's going to be like, shut up, stupid. Walk away from me. Rich Voss will be like, what? You remembered me? 
Bro, if you don't think if you don't think when Mark Norman's on stage at the Comedy Cellar, I'm not gonna interrupt in the middle of the show and get hate and go, "Hey, Mark, you remember me?" At the comedy at the Comedy Cellar. <laughs> yeah, when he's like, <laughs> "Yo, Jacob, I was thinking when we go watch Legion of Skanks, let's sit front row and like and try try and get in the show somehow." Yeah, that's how Absolutely. you get on the rap. No, let's just sit. Let's just sit front row for the yucks. It'll be funny. You just pay more. Just pay more money. And get no, you just go, seats. dude. It's free, and you can sit where oh, it's Legion of Skanks is free. Is I, th- I think so. All right, maybe yeah, it's not. It's maybe it's free not. for comics, but you gotta get there super early. Let, let's buy tickets and just sit front row. I think. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, that'll be fun. This is a great show. Because our friends will watch it and just see us sitting there front row, and make them laugh. Probably. Yeah, it's funny, right? Yeah, yeah. That's that's funny. I think it's funny. Yeah, yeah. Why don't, we record, why don't we record? And Jacob, you're so you're so fat. They're definitely going to talk to you if we sit front row. <laughs> and then that's our that's our moment to shine. Absolutely, yeah, it's all yeah, coming together. Would, I'll talk about how you stole Big record. J's name because you're Big Jake Silva and he's Big J Overson. I got Big Jake twelve years before I ever did an open mic. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, who who thought of I, it? Genius. <laughs> <laughs> It was my high school lacrosse coach. He he had a son named Jake, and then who was like ten years older than me. And for some reason, he thought it'd be a good idea to call me Big Jake and his own kid. Can who you, was ten years older than me, little Jake. Can you send us a picture that I can put as an image in the bottom corner while you're on? Yeah, I got I got plenty of stuff I can send you. Yeah, good man, good man. Yeah, <laughs> send, send a compilation of pictures, and I'll I'll put them on sporadically in the t- in the corner as it's on, so people can see what we're dealing with here. Yeah, my feature is gonna be a great Instagram reel. <laughs> perfect, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he laughs, he's wheezing. <laughs> I think we we have we we just keep going. Have we gone on a bit longer? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck up. I'm gonna go uh, okay. hire a lawyer to sue Josh Berger. Okay, just just call Josh as they say. Yeah, jo- Josh is a hero, man. Just just call him, or we, we'll all. If there is a problem, we'll we'll all get together. Whatever. It's we'll there, figure there's, it out. there's not going to be a problem. Be figured it's fine. Out. Just. No, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna send a picture of me fucking a fat chick, and then have him throw up on his phone. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That, perfect. Yeah. I think that would be feel like that. That would be good. Yeah. Like all right, man. Like two all right. Heels fighting for a we'll, rock. Bye, Jacob. We'll we'll have you we'll have you on soon, and we'll do. When are we leaving? When are we, when are we leaving? February third. Yeah. Okay. My my passport's ready, January twenty fifth. All right. Awesome, buddy. Sounds good. Yeah. Peace, peace, peace. All right. Can Bye. Hannah wait? Can Hannah come? What? Can Hannah come? Hannah's not gonna fuck you. She said she would. She promised. <laughs> I think I think she will. Dude, she loves me. What do you mean? She's fucking an old. She's an old hot whore. <laughs> Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, t- I'm a ten. I'm a young, I'm a young stallion. She'd be lucky to have me. So I, we can listen to it in the car on the way to New York. Dude, this is already live. This is live on Instagram. I've said the n word and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I said the n word the first three minutes. It's terrible. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get assassinated, which would be kind of cool. <laughs> All right, see you, dude. All right, we'll see you later, Jake. <laughs> All right. What a retard! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But if, if I was getting sued, imagine like you're getting sued, and then the first it's, person you call is so you. Like, yeah, maybe Matt Baxter. That's most, so. that's we probably true. shouldn't talk about the case. Yeah, I'm just live on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> It shouldn't be a problem or anything. That's such a Jewish threat. I'm gonna sue you. Like most guys will come to fight you or something. I'm gonna yeah. sue you. I'll sue you. <laughs> I yeah, saying. I can't. I can't imagine. Like, cause I don't. I don't even. I don't know what to make of any of that. I don't, I don't yeah. know. It just. I don't know. That's not the guy who I know, right? Like, I. I don't know info like that in any sort of way. So I wouldn't. Well, if, I can't. If Josh imagine. doesn't like you. He has like. He'll, he'll go after you. I don't but know. Like, when, when yeah, I, I don't know. I anything. was playing soccer on Wednesday, and I literally, I almost killed a guy. Like I was fucking. He he said, "When I'm talking, you are listening." And then I, I fucking, I just went nuts. Not nuts. I was very controlled, but I was like, I stood <laughs> right up to him. There was guys holding him back, and I said, "Let him fucking go." And I was giving him the, the Conor McGregor eyes. So I was oh. like, "Let him go. Let him go. He'll learn. This is the only way he'll learn." Let, <laughs> him, come at me. Let him come at me. When you're talking on this, is that what fucking happens here? Is that what happens here? Let him come. Let him come. And then he fucking, <laughs> he shoot. That's he went, terrifying. He went down into a fucking. We're both angry gingers. He turned into. A, he turned into like. Yeah, baby. but one of us accepts it. 
He turned it. He turned it. He turned it. He turned it. Oh, it's an aisle. I'm a positive bug guy. Oh, oh why don't you, you don't let me fucking finish <laughs> stories? <laughs> it's Holy shit! It no, it's not I'm you. Sorry, you're you're a guest. Oh, it's not me. It's not me. Not him. It's not. Get the fuck out of here! That was me. That was literally. What the fuck are you talking about? You fucking retard! That's the only way to run. Holy shit, dude! The Irish are their stories. They like to tell long, long. They do. They do. Wait. Go ahead. It's because there's nothing to do in Ireland. They're just potatoes and fields. They just tell stories all day. Yeah, that's it. That is. His lip quivered when I was making fun of Ireland. His lip quivered. He was gonna kill me. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong? He hasn't. He hasn't taken the first step. He needs to take the first step. This is an intervention. Because I got into character to do a fucking good character. <laughs> and you fucking... Oh, uh, you did? No, yeah, no, obviously, I, I let my emotions run. That's why I'm good at comedy. I let it fucking oh, his, go. Oh, his I genuine actually rage was a character he was doing. No, but it wasn't a character <laughs> I was doing. That's, I can't do characters. I have to just let myself get back into where, oh, I, sorry, where I was feeling sorry, that. Sorry, sorry. No, it's not. Sorry, no, you're the guest. You ha can do whatever you want. Has it passed? Or, yeah. <laughs> You wanted yeah. to kill me for a second. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I wanted to Don't kill worry. Him. He'll just project the rage from you onto me okay, good, good, for good. interrupting. Wait. I interrupted him because you interrupted. Yeah, but him. you That's you what... said you said recently we were texting about it and you said fucking I'm, I I interrupt you. I'm but that was laugh. literally him. It was literally him, and I just fucking laughed. No, but then I was That's but, literally but, what happened. It's, it's like, we'll watch it back. But he we'll got it back. It wasn't, it wasn't I interrupted it you. Wasn't you. Yeah, I interrupted you. Watch it back. No, but it wasn't it. No, but I, well, I, I was interrupting you. I was, yes, and I was like, doing a joke. Yeah, but I was, story. yeah. And I yeah. was, and I wanted to run off what you were saying, but you did come in. You didn't say nothing there. Holy shit! Holy shit! You didn't. We can watch it back. Holy shit! What the we, fuck is going on? We, we can watch it back. I, I was. You were yes ending, and I had more to give. And but then you jumped in. But that's and that's what I was. That's why I needed to meditate there for a second. It wasn't. It doesn't matter. Excuse me. Yeah, you're those, right. You're, you're right. Those. Sorry. Go on. No, it's it's finished. It's done. All right. Really? Yeah. Is it? No, that that rant is done. There's no, there's only a little bit left. Do you guys to fight it, so. with this usually? No, but there was only a little bit left to it. No, it's like this, the moment this, it was this, it was run on momentum. Like I'm not I'm not I'm not angry. It's gone. It's it's finished. No, but the the story's not finished. No, I but I needed that. I'm not I'm not going to do it again. But you said that you're good at acting, so you you should be able to go back into character now. Yeah, maybe maybe I maybe I'm 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 lying to myself that I'm good. Maybe I'm I'm not good actually. Yeah, this if, is I can, if I can't acting. do it right now for you, if I don't just clap like a monkey and do what you say, maybe I'm not as good as I. Well, you should finish out. your story at least. Well, it, but it, it wasn't. It wasn't even a real story. It was just. Well, it, it was real. It happened, but it was. It was going to be all on momentum. You almost fought a guy in a soccer match. Yeah. Yeah. So if Josh said that he is going to sue Jacob, like it's possible that it happened in a moment of anger and a moment of unconsciousness. Oh, yeah, or he was fucking. Like, that also sounds like a joke. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, he's making a festival, I'm going to like battle with your festival or whatever. Yeah, but even if there was a big case, a big suit, it's like Toronto comedians suing yeah. each other, that'd be great for comedy. Yeah. It'd be on the news and shit. Yeah. It'd be fantastic. It would be nice if we could all just work together, but that's a fucking pipe dream. So many clashing personalities and shit. Yeah, but I mean, that's what that's what, that's people, what makes people it fun. In, but it is what makes it fun, but people in LA work together, people in New York work together. Um, they'll have like beefs and like make it funny, but like at the end of the day, they work together. Well, it's, it's the like same as picking up women. Well, Canada, it's people... the collaborative energy. Like it's exactly, the same as that. it's, it's, it's exactly the same as that. Exactly. Collaboration is everything. You but need to work Canada, together with people we're, we're... and not put other people down. That's what you have to do. That's what brings you to the top. That's it. That's it. Yeah, it's I, a tried I, I and tested material. It's tried and tested. Who's disagreeing? Oh, I thought that maybe you... I thought maybe you were. I don't know. But no. Canada, we're in scarcity, it's right? So people are backstabby because there's like yeah. only so much stage time, only so much opportunity. But then you just make more stage time. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's just like it's it's all there. There's we're five also, million people here. It's bigger shit, right? than it's bigger than Chicago. Like we we have enough here. Like we have enough. There is yeah. enough people. We just st we need to stop hating each other. But I mean, if we don't, I don't, I don't just the people that do the people that spread I hate, I hate, brain, I hate brain brain top. It. I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna do the inner work. I wanna let it go. I'm sure I I'm sure I hate a lot of a lot of comedians. I'll hate that. Like that's the one guy that's one guy I have visceral feelings towards. That's it. Yeah. yeah. But I but I don't I don't think about it. That's why I can't even think of someone now that I hate. But if, if someone walked in and then I see them do like this like 
awful shit that's just really virtue signaling and, and not funny at all. And in that moment, I'm like, this person's a fucking retard. But then I just, I just forget it straight away. Like, I just, just as soon as they're gone, it's like they're gone out of my mind, out, out of my life. It's done. Dude, why are your nails so long? Guitar. Oh, really? That's cool. Not Coke. Um, yeah. Let's fucking let's. All right. And let's, how? And well, how? How long have we done? Uh, probably enough. almost two hours. But uh, really? And the way? Wait, 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 wait. The way that um, two I hours? stop. Oh, don't don't 30. don't turn off. I'm not. I was looking at. Yeah, but the way I uh, I'm able to hold my composure and keep calm when Matt interrupts me is because I use blue goba mushrooms uh, and I use the the promo code 2G1M and get 10% and you could be zen like this. You could be, you could be <laughs> basically the, the ultimate human specimen. <laughs> you transcend, you're transcended. I'm transcended Irishman. I'm, I'm, I'm on another level. I'm on, I'm like, I'm obviously below God, but not by much. And that's true. Blue gold and mushrooms. And, um, everyone can get to this transcendent level their own way. Mushrooms is a quick fire way. It's literally cheating. It's literally cheating at life. And um, are they are they a sponsor for the pod? They are a sponsor for the pod. Two G one M. You get ten percent off. Um, is this true? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, they sent us. They sent us like six hundred bucks worth of shit. They, Matt, Matt doesn't fuck with them though. No, but he 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 wrote the copy for it. He he understands that it's a good thing for people. Yeah. But he he does it himself. He does it the hard way. Which yeah. I respect the shit out of. I I just don't do it the hard way. I I like taking shortcuts. A little pull, yeah. And I mean, because we we die at the end anyway. Like, there's no right or wrong way. No, it never works. But like, works whatever me. works for anybody is good. And mushrooms work for me. I mean, I, I had a trip last night. It, took, it it was just fantastic. It just like it puts everything into perspective, and uh, it helps. I mean, if you if you don't agree, then don't do it. But if you want to try and you want to start off, you get ten percent off with two G one M. They sent DMT as well. Like that, that was, that was crazy too. That was really, really enjoyable. But um, yeah, so anything you need. Thanks, guys. It's been episode 40. Thanks to Matt Baxter. You want to do a, a you wanna, do you have a show that you want to plug or anything? You should, you should also, like, well, there's, there's, oh, um, there's only two episodes of it, but you have, uh, you started a podcast with Mark Hughes. It's yeah, still, it's it's scrubbed, still up, scrubbed from it? the internet. It's gone. It's gone. Fuck, man. I, I why really, I why really is it not it? on the internet? I really enjoyed it. You quit. Yeah, but why would he? I really enjoyed Why is it. it not but on the internet? Whatever, whatever. It's it's fine. You yeah. He, he t- was, today today was. Um, you, come to the come to the casting couch on Sunday, I guess. It's okay, at the Royal. Yeah. It's like a kill Tony ripoff, but we're like we're like the we're like the American Office. We ripped it off, but it's better. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's a fun <laughs> show. Man. Anything can happen. Sometimes I'm sitting there, I'm like, what the fuck is it's, going it's on chaos. here? Yeah, it's chaos. And then uh, and then something amazing happens at the end, or something crazy. It's it's like it's fantastic. It's every show is one of a kind. So yeah, you should do that wow, on Sunday. Yeah, you should be in sales. That's good. I'm telling you, fuck okay. it, I am. But it's are you actually in sales? No, uh, I, I tried it numerous yeah, times. I've done it. sales courses, but anytime I get close to d- taking a sales job, I would get uh, overwhelmed with anxiety because yep. it's like my body telling me, "If you do sales, being a comedian is gone." And thank God I listened to my true, true. heart when that happened because I was very close to signing contracts with sales. I was I was on the last interview, on the final interview to work with a crowd. And I, because I did like a sales boot camp, final interview, I had practiced it, everything. The, I was doing a presentation. I had already been doing comedy at this point. The presentation is like piss easy. And uh, I started doing it and I literally, I bombed the, <laughs> I bombed the thing, but not, it wasn't on purpose. It'd be a lie to say it was on purpose, but also before it, I really didn't want to get it. I was like, I was more afraid of getting it than not. So subconsciously I bombed it and then uh, canceled that. That's when I went to Mexico. And I was like, okay, comedy's the thing. Uh, let's go full belt ahead with comedy. Mm. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If it takes me 10 years, I don't care. Mm. I'll start making money off it somehow. Mm. Then met Matt Render, started doing a fucking podcast. Love life ever since. There's been ups, there's been downs, but I'm on the right track. Fuck and yeah, I dude. think we all Fuck are. Yeah, all right. Cheers, boys. Thanks for listening. Let's- Thanks for being here, man. Peace, boys. It was fun. Cool.